and the, and the twins? Nah, what happened? Yeah, Eric, ha- Eric and Jasmine have twins. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess you can really, I guess it's really in the damn family. Oh, yeah, it really is in the damn family. Shit runs heavy in my family. Yeah. Hold on, let me, I, let me ask a question. I know y'all having like this family heart to heart and all the other cool shit, but fuck all no, that for right now. Don't, we don't even care about that. Why, why is Tua getting a foundation donation? Like, this man's already a fucking millionaire. What money can you give a millionaire that he does not already possess? Wait, 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 Bro, I don't yeah. do this shit for, for play. I, I am. Yeah. Tua has a foundation, and the Bills fucking fan base gave this man, a, they raised $1,000. I'm like, he's a fucking millionaire. Well, the Bills, the, the Bills um, team, I mean, the, the Bills like fans itself are quite really nice people. I don't give a fuck about none of that. How nice you are. The fuck you giving a millionaire more money? <laughs> he's rich. He will, he will be fine no matter Miami, what. So he, he will be fine no matter yeah. what. Exactly. Fuck all that. He lives in Miami, which is a tax-free state, and he got money. Fuck all that. <laughs> Fuck, he needs more money from y'all. Y'all broke people. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> why are you attacking us like yeah. that? <laughs> y'all it, broke people. It's the truth. Broke. Bro. Like, like, look, listen, you already broke. You just spent all your money on these bo- bogus-ass season tickets. Half of them in the nosebleed, all this fan gear, you got breaking tables, ketchup and mustard and hot wings and shit. And then you're going to cough up the little bit of change you got in your ashtray for a football player that makes a million dollars plus a year. Just to play 17 fucking games. Stupid. And I said what I said, damn it. I mean, first of all, we just, we just, I just turned the live stream on. Second of all, <laughs> um, it's okay. I'm playing a whole, a, a whole different sport. I'm, but, but not. I mean, I catch your drift, though. It, it, you, I mean, you are correct. I, I, I can't even like. Say it is what it is at this point, because um, people gonna do whatever people do, and um, yeah. <laughs> no, common mean, sense really ain't that common. Oh, really there understand. you go. He hit it right, right on the tee. Common sense ain't that common. <laughs> But, uh, like, like, how dumb can you be to get this man more money? Like, he's rich. His contract gave him a guaranteed signing bonus the moment he put ink to paper. And he got fucking, uh, with the endorsements and shit. He's good. Uh, he can uh, pay for his own treatment. Fuck him. Oh, so, Sam, how you say on the Antonio Brown situation? What about it? <laughs> <laughs> so, I so, see it. <laughs> tell your friend. Apparently, the reports coming out that when he was with the Buccaneers and when he was with the Steelers, he was out here just flashing, motherfuckers. Yeah, flashing people at the hotels in like the public in the pools. Stuff. Pool. Just slanging. Like, okay. Yeah, slanging. Just like. All of it out. Okay. Is he being sued? No. <laughs> I mean, okay, so that means that mean they enjoyed it. No. Free porn. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If he ain't getting sued, it was enjoyable. Right? Me? No. I, I, I mean, some people, come have on the, now. some people have the money to go sue somebody. Because it pays, it costs money to sue somebody. Okay, but the settlement check clears all of that, right? If listen, listen, listen. Come hey, on if now, you would, that, that's a big if. You pay okay, if you win. win. Man, fuck all that. Fuck all that. Listen, if Queen Elizabeth <laughs> old ass before she died, and she was flashing you, and you like, you know what? It's a Queen of England. That's a check. You telling me you ain't gonna pursue that with all the money you got? First of all, I don't have to sue her. I ain't gonna think gonna let me sue no her. Money. They probably gonna take my ass out. Bro, a pro- listen, you you can hire a pro bono lawyer, bro. They'll bro, figure it out. Bro, 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 bro. You realize that's the Queen of England. She gonna take me out before I even get the chance to. That just has a point. Still, still, he's like how it's all coming out, bro. The the biggest way you hurt you hurt popular people, you hurt their pop their popularity. How you do it? You make things that they do exposed. Some things people can't come back from. Okay, like Kim Everybody Kardashian. Antonio Brown's crazy. crazy. So like, it's Antonio Brown. I don't know what can really get him. <laughs> like you, I don't you, know. Like everybody knows he's he has crazy done everything. Already. Everything has, he hasn't done already enough. Very. It's just the fact that Swing. he was talking about like going back to NFL and like more should go back out about wow shit. Shit don't look good okay. for you, Chief. Shit do not look good. Hey. 
he'll be fine. Because guess what? Somebody's going to need a type of talent for a season. And by the bean, here comes his fucking phone. I mean, the they, said, they said the Browns might be looking into him. Get the fuck out of here. The Browns got no problems. <laughs> Hey. First of all, they name they name after a color. I mean, or y'all one person with with these type of problems, so another one would hurt. Shit, the Browns. They Goofy got, ass name. They already got one. To hell with them. No, man. Oh, hey, hey, hey have you been looking at college football this year? I haven't been able to really, really watch it because I've been working. I know you've been working Saturday. <laughs> I've been <bro>. asleep. <laughs> I mean, either, either I work or I miss sleep. Bro, college football this year has been such a, like, I won't say weird, but, like, unexpected. Like, the amount of teams that be, like, oh, quote-unquote upsets, or, like, teams that should be ranked that aren't ranked, and then beating ranked teams is so high this year. You know what? It's, like, week, what, four? Week five in college football? Mm-hmm. It is crazy. Like, I think... TCU just whooped the fuck out of fucking Oklahoma. Like, and mind you, the past, like, seven, eight years, Oklahoma becoming TCU is smacking yeah, the fuck smacking. out. Smacking. Like, TCU hasn't been like that since, like, Andy Dalton. And they had, uh, what's the name? What the one of the quarterbacks they, they had that one year? Boykins. Yeah. Outside of that, bro, they haven't done shit. Yep. I've got cool. Andy Dalton. Guy. Who cares? To hell with him. Because he's in London right now. I'm about to get his ass exposed. No, he's not even. Oh, okay. He he he, 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 put, he put, put on a show. He put <laughs> throwing, he put throwing these hoes. Watch them, watch them. He put throwing these hoes. Keep playing with him. Yeah, listen, listen, him. listen, listen. Keep listen, playing with him. Listen. I could have swore the Saints come marching in was a part of the like the English culture, right? Right. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So. Your team pretty much is representing England, right? Which with who, who, who died whoa, whoa, England, whoa, 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 whoa. right? So, so when he gets smacked on 4K, y'all ain't never going back to London again, bro. Y'all gonna be blacklisted. They're like, of all teams, don't bring that damn Saints back whatsoever. We they march you in because they ain't coming back. Done. Oh I think that's Raps. a reach. I think that's a reach. In my opinion, it's not. It's not because we bought. Listen, we bought the we bought Louisiana from the French. Who is yes. located in England, right? Mm-hmm. The states come marching in, came from what? The English background. The Queen just died all in the same year. Y'all playing in London. Y'all <laughs> fuck this up, bro. Y'all done. Y'all done. <laughs> Just go and hang this shit up, bro. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all are never to return, icing. bro. That'll just be the icing on the cake. That's it. That's, that's, that's it. Game over, you know, bro. that's crazy because uh, uh, Saints fans are tearing up London right now. That's crazy, though. <laughs> yep, the they, they, they show is they're gonna tear the motherfucker up. We all fuck it up. They go, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> nah, I'm talking about just partying wild. I just, I just, well, you know, I got things, you know, social media all over my feed. I see these motherfuckers out here in like four different clubs out here second lining. I'm like, you know what? Actually, I lied. I'm gonna say what's gonna happen. London is gonna reclaim the Saints. They're like, uh uh-uh. uh. Nope, nope. Oh it, was, it was a nice. It was a nice run in New Orleans. We gotta change our name. They fucked all this up. You gotta change our. <laughs> they fucked all all this up. Listen, move the, the Mercedes Benz Stadium. We, we take all that shit. We relocate. Oh my god. <laughs> yep, the first team that plays for for a fucking royal family. <laughs> they done with y'all, bro. They done. They fucking hey, done with y'all. We gonna win no matter what. So I ain't worried about it. We'll come. We'll y'all playing Vikings, there. right? Yeah, put the Vikings. We'll go out there. Oh, yeah. Uh, get I- they Vikings. Beat we won't get the Vikings, you know, what they're looking for, you know. Marshall, yep, we'll Lamar, go lock up. <laughs> Justin for, Jefferson. For win. You know. Come on now. Don't do that to yourself, bro. You know better than that. All right, show you the stats for this season. All right, show you the stats for this season for my boy, Marshall okay. Lattimore. So don't even, don't even get mm-hmm. talking about him. You know, he's he doing his okay. job. He's doing his job. Remember, doing... y'all good run stopping team. Y'all not a good pass rushing team, right? Pass rushing? Right. Y'all are a good run stopping team, right? No, we're not a good we're not a great pass rushing team. Right. right. And you're going against a pass heavy team, right? Okay. We're gonna see how this turns out. And guess what? Marshall we'll gonna going be him and guess what? Yep. Tyron Matthews said that, that gonna be him that, as that's well. That's why y'all picked him. That's why y'all picked him over Patrick Mahomes, right? 
We didn't pick up over Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes already picked up. We didn't pick. Huh. It's different. You can say that if it was like our pick and Patrick Mahomes was still available, but he wasn't available no more. So you reach. That's a reach right there. You feel me? That's a reach. Is it? Yes, it really is. Interesting. Listen, don't blame me. Blame society. No, I blame your education system. No, I'm blaming, I'm oh, you're my education system. <laughs> okay, hey, I'm one of your blame me. I'm just saying, y'all about to go to London the and year when? the Queen died, and when? As, as 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 her loyal subjects, and y'all gonna fuck <laughs> it up. Her loyal and, oh my god, <laughs> <As> her <laughs> loyal and, and, and they gonna say, you know what? Y'all been doing this too long. Y'all culturized is all fucked up. We we gonna reclaim y'all. Don't our worry, culture Roger is, Goodell. Is hey. Our culture is amazing. <laughs> hey. First of all. I'm right, trying to tell you, Roger. Roger, Roger we're bringing them back. <laughs> yep, Roger, they're they're coming back. Yep, yes, sir. Hey. <laughs> the New Orleans has been real. That's funny. The London Saints. Yeah, I see it right now. The London Saints. The London, <laughs> the the London the Saints. Are they gonna change the colors too. They gonna change the no. colors. Nah, they gonna change the no. colors. They can't. They the gonna keep London, it. The London Saints. They gonna come out with All a right, horse. Nathan. I'm a motherfucking All night right. on the horse and everything. All right, Mike, get this bitch going, bro. I'm tired of your team. Y'all gonna lose anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody. everyone. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, leave me alone. All right, welcome to Talk With the Lens. I'm your host, that boy Mike, you, aka Lens Mikas. Today, I'm here along with my co host, Fazo the Fanatic, aka yeah, Fazo. I'm back. He's back after a long hiatus. <laughs> hey, very long hiatus. Uh, he, he he finally back, and of course, you know, before he leaves, we had to get my boy Sam back on back on here this week. Before he um, leaves, Sam, you leaving? Yeah, yeah I go take care of some things in uh in the states for about a month. Oh, oh about to say, I'm if it sure come back know. two ranks higher, that's all. Uh, oh, okay, twinkle twinkle. <laughs> you know, twinkle right. twinkle. I'm trying to get like him. No, not really. I ain't trying. To, I ain't. That's all. Yeah. But uh, I'm here to talk with Lens. Talk about anything new with the Lens, okay? AKA me. So we talk about everything here, right? Cameras, videos, games, sports, everything, anything. All right, all right. So again, we were Bobo Fazo. All right, AKA the skate. I said skater. Uh, That's the next thing. Uh, AKA the gamer, the streamer. All right, the photographer. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. You know what it is. You know what it is. Yes, All right. Welcome back. Grinding. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's right. great to be back. Great. Uh, damn. You know, hi. We're going we go to hit, hit that note part of first thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then we got my boy Sam. All right. The guru. Cowboys. Cowboys oh. extraordinary. Cowboy at law. Uh, I am the fact checker. I do a little bit of everything, but this is what I do. He All said right. he has to do his own intro. <laughs> He's a fuck my intro. I, know, I, I will be beating Faison's ass in uh, fantasy. Just a disclaimer. Oh, yeah, so y'all do play each other this week. Oh, wait, oh shoot. I totally forgot about the fantasy football. Oh, fuck. Don't worry. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and look at that before the week. Before the week story. Go ahead. I mean, bro, I mean, bro, I've been so zoned out, bro. Bro. Good. That's a whole different He's story. He's a good... Hey, I ain't worried about you know words. why. You know why? I already beat Sam already, so I ain't worried about it. I beat him week one. Like, uh, like we had to blow him out real who quick. Played like, already on my team. Oh, I forgot. This the oh this 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 dude got the whole Cowboys team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smart man. Oh shit! He, I don't know about that one, dog. He. Oh this oh this week I don't know you I don't know you might not have me dog. First of all, Justin Herbert ain't even playing, so there goes twenty points off the board. Okay, you act like I just can't get another quarterback. You can't get a, just get another quarterback. You get, they got to clip waivers. We they literally it's already started, bro. Too late. No, you still get a quarterback no. for tomorrow. Yeah, exactly, I can still I can still get one. I can still get one before okay. tomorrow. Okay, tell me how they turn out. Do, 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 play. Either way it goes, right, Faisal. All right, you know why you over there uh, figuring out your fancy team? <laughs> how how have you been on this hiatus, of yours? I've been tired, dog. <laughs> I've been tired. So, like, so, so like, you, been, you, you've been slaving. I have. I 
non lock I mean non 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 stop work. Waking up at four o'clock in the morning and go to work at five. Getting off five. Good. Every <laughs> single day. He said good. <laughs> Why? Why? Matter of fact, I'm gonna tell him I'm gonna tell him to take away your lunch breaks. You don't need to eat. Lunch breaks, boy. I take my own lunch breaks. I'm on the shit. I'm on the road. I can stop whenever the fuck I want. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me call boss yeah. man right now. And tell him what you're doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> couple of man, the boss man sees what I'm doing. There's a camera in the damn truck. <laughs> nah, nah, nah not camera. that boss man. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Texas World First Commission. That's the boss man. Like, boy, yeah, get he the ain't fuck. Even, oh, and I just got a quarterback starting, bitch. And I just got my. I just got another quarterback starting, bitch. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I bet it's a bum because that's all that's left is trash. Shit, Brissett gonna ball out on the fucking Falcons. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, Brissett. <laughs> you ain't accepted all out. <laughs> Shit, you Brissett finna be- ball out on the fucking Falcons. Not, not Brissett. <laughs> not, not young Brissett. Brissett. <laughs> yes, sir, because I gotta get rid of Tua's ass since he hurt. Oh yeah, two gonna be he out. fucked up, but that's a whole different another story. Oh, that's we're, another, we're gonna talk um, about that too, bro. Cause... Exactly, exactly. That's that's a whole other segment. Ah uh, damn, shit that 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 was a crazy that's that's crazy of his own. No, nah, for real, it is. That's so foul and fucked up. How how fucked up he got so fucked up. How <laughs> fucked up he got fucked up. He said, "How Sam? Yeah, how man? How's man this? could lose his life." Could have lost his life. He could have died. Technically, <laughs> he, he could have died. He chose to play football. And then it will come to you're, territory. You know what I mean? You're, yes. you're right. You are, you are right because y'all chose to go to the Army. So that makes no No, I mean, it's the same thing with boxing. Right. You, chose, you, pick, you pick the living, <laughs> you get punched right. in the head. The head is not designed to take that much that much abuse. So you chose that. That's, I mean, that's on you. We understand that, right? But overall, there's, okay. there's, there's ways to prevent these injuries to happen, right? And yeah, it, throw the ball away. He got, I'm, bro. He, he still, still he, he, I think he, he did throw the ball. Up. He still got hit. He still got fucked up. Well, he said he still ball fast. He's like, you know what, coach? Not this time. Or make the running back do his fucking job and run the ball. Get me out of this situation, bro. Either what way, the fuck I like? We, like, we can't, I'm a we can't argue what is. We can't argue what is. We can't argue. What is, right? we, can argue right, we really just can't. We can argue what shit, happened, right? What happened was he exactly, got because it dropped on his head twice. And the first okay. time, they shouldn't have ever put him back in. And that's on the organization fault. Okay. Right? Because overall, right, as a, as a player, which I, we, we said we talked about it, right? As a player, we don't want to yeah. go back and play play. We the don't want to play regardless. Exactly. Nope. It don't matter no, 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 what no, type no, of... No, no. Fuck all that. Player is accountable, too. Because he chose yeah, to get back course. in. He can, I mean, he, we're not saying he's not yeah. accountable. Yeah. He's he's not, not, right, exactly. We're not saying that he don't have a, a fucking will of his own, but it's the fact that his team should have protected him with the fact that, hey, I understand Why that you love the fact that you want to play this. You need to chill out. You are hurt. Yeah, like so tight. Because, as, bro, I'll tell you, as a player, bro, could, was on you your don't, mind. You don't think about that. You, you don't think about, about that at all. Exactly. That's the problem. That's their fault. Shit, when I tore my shit. I was not even thinking about, oh, shit. Dumb as hell. I agree. That's dumb as hell. Ain't I no mean, way. If I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. I'm not going to push an issue that's going to take me out of, out of my position, bro. That's stupid. I don't give a fuck how big your heart is. You got to be smart. This is a game of intelligence. If bro, you know you're not you 100%, you're you you back into the game. Your emotions are high at the moment. So I don't give a fuck if your emotions are low. You still got to be able to think. Critical thinking is still a, a, key, a key thing to learn, right? Yeah, but you, this is a miss of a football okay. game. Access, I mean, nah, I, don't, it don't matter. Bro. Okay, don't, but it don't matter. Just like... Yeah, like I'm, a, I mean, I'm trying to be a scholar while I'm on the football field. No, I'm okay. trying to so, smash heads yeah. in. Let, let's pivot. Let's pivot off of that real quick. You and your girl arguing. She's pushing your buttons. Oh you need to heat you, you're the heat your emotions. Are you going to stop the shit out of her? Yes hey. or no? That's the easy yes people. or no. There's a few people you There's just a few people, that I'm, But I'm asking y'all. I'm not asking them, but I know they ask I'll stop the shit out of my... Yeah, hell yeah, I will. <laughs> the then they go lock the pins. It's the pins. Oh, what's she doing? Because she put her fact, head I'm, in I'm my a, face. I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, like, I'm like, I'm like, yep. I'm like, him with the dreads. Yo, yep, yep. With the glass <laughs> and everything. He smacked the hell out of her. I was like, hey, she keep on doing this and like put her finger in my face or do some ratchet shit. I might just slap her. But if she just, you know, we just arguing and it's just getting heated, nah. But see, that's 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 the problem 
with but, accountability. Everybody wants to give it, give a, a a clause or asterisk to it. No, 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 no. I mean, I, if, when I, you if I'm wrong, that, I'm wrong. At the end of the day, I ain't saying I ain't wrong. Sorry. But that's, but that's I'm reacting to I how I feel. Shit out somebody. It's just how I feel at the moment. Right, but see, that's, that's the problem. take accountability away from it. That's that, that that is the issue. Us as men, we 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 we're supposed to be better, bro. Your decision making, your critical thinking has to be on point, especially in a situation where emotions is high. You choose to go back to a football game, you're putting your own life at risk. You can't be in an organization which you agreed to do. Antonio Brown was like, I'm not getting back to the game. And he got injected. He stood behind his help. Regardless if it's false or not, Man, he stood behind all, it. Two had two opportunity. <laughs> yes or no? Yes or no? Man, yes that's, or no? that's a whole yes nother, no? that's a whole nother situation. Because yes that guy that had nothing to do with his health. He was being a dickhead. That's a whole, that's a he was being a dickhead. So, once again, again, it came out that actually he was telling the truth. Supposedly. No, it, it there's no supposed, but he was telling the truth. A doctor verified the injury. There was paperwork showing that this had happened because he was on the injury report. He talked to Bruce about it. Oh, this was verified. That's why Bruce had to move on from being the head coach because he, he was lying to the, to the media. He's lying to the public. But that's not the point. The point is, AJ Brown. I mean, AJ Brown. Fucking yeah, AJ Brown. Antonio. What the fuck his name is? A. Yeah, yeah, him. He, Anthony Brown. AB. Right. He decided. Hey, I'm not. I can't, I'm not feeling it. I'm not getting into the game. And that was smart. So two at the two and every other player has that same wow. ability to say, Nah, I'm not good. I need to get checked out. So what's I mean at the end of the day, yeah, the organization know, played him. If you're a real player, bro. I don't know no right for real player who who loves the game. And that's why real players have careers. Real they players stupid. that really play the game, bro. They're not. <laughs> they're not doing that. They look at you crazy, that's bro. That's what they're stupid. But they make more that's money than So who cares? That's the death. They still make more money though. No, right. They make more money, but the controversy that comes when. They themselves put themselves in bad, bad position. We don't blame them. We blame everybody around them. You check back into the game. You can say, nah, coach. Hey, back up. Get in there. I'm, I'm not feeling it. Hey, trainer, come look at me. You have that ability. You're not denied medical access on and off the field. So let's not act like they are. The coach will have to tell you, go get, go, go, go get looked at. You can do it yourself. Period. Dak walked mm -hmm. over when he fucked up his thumb. He walked over and talked to Dr. Cooper. He was like, hey, hold on. Call that time, my bro. My thumb fucked up. And got off the field. Done, well, done. Thought, so, if, if, if it's, bro, see, oh, hold on, hold on. Nah. If it, that's it was, something that ain't having him, because that was his throwing hand, was it not, right? That was his throwing hand, was yes. it not? Okay. Uh huh. So, he was not really able to throw the football, right? Okay. He was not really able to uh -huh. do what he's supposed to do as a quarterback. Of course, you're going to hop okay. off the field. At, the, at that point in time, Tua can still play, do what he was supposed to do. He can still throw the football, he can still able to do all that, right? Okay. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. He still got back in the game. Did he not? Okay. So, so, so he still got his, back in the game. Right? Did he not? So Mike, he's still Mike, able to do Blake. it. Mike, you should know about arguing because I always find the loophole that you ignored. You just previously stated it was wrong for them to put him back in the game. Yes. But now here you are saying, listen, here you are now saying that he was still capable of playing. So who's wrong here? If he's still able to play, why are you mad they put him back into the game? Because obviously, at some point, bro, sometimes players don't understand because it's just in the heat in the moment. But you're not understanding. You said he's capable. You support his decision. You cannot be mad that they put him back in if you're supporting him getting back into the game. It doesn't work that you can't advocate for change and then go against the change you're advocating for. Bro, look, look, look. pick right. a side and stay there. He right, should have. If you will, he, all first side of all, I said him was him walking, I felt like the coach as as the organization nope. should have stepped nope. in. That's the only thing I said. <laughs> That's the, the only player, thing I the said. The player knows his body, Mike. So, okay, I'll tell you what. I I'm going to help you out. If I tell you, Mike, you can squat 500, you're going to tell me, all right, bro, I'm going to do that. Yeah. You crazy as hell, bro. You're not going to do that shit, so bro. You I, crazy? Yeah. Bro, well, you, listen, no, Faiso, 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 I worked out with me. When we work out with people, well, I worked out with people, yeah. when I work out with the Quayla, right? I'll ask for what <laughs> you put on. The Quayla puts on the weight. He would throw some crazy shit and, up on And I'm going to go squat it. God, right. But that's so, the yeah. me have faith in my brother and say, hey, you got me if I don't get this. So, 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 Mike, right? What happened when I when I said, hey, Mike, let, let, let's go do an a airfield run? What did you tell me? Oh, uh, you got me out of your goddamn mind. That's running. Right. So, that's running, though. No, 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 that's no, no, running. No, 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 hold on, hold on. It's the point. 
you checked out of that because you was like, I cannot, I cannot perform that activity. Man, Two had the same ability. All, it's no different, first, bro. Get the same ability. I cannot perform in my highest. Time out. Time Teddy, out. get in there. Wait, 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 wait. Come on now. Before, before we tack the fact that I didn't want to simply one, I don't like running in general. So okay. And simply even number was, two. Even if I was able number to do it, I probably would try to check it out of it anyway. I would want to run okay, that Okay, and number anyway. and number two. And number two. And number two. I mean, am I not physically Come capable? On. No. Thank you. Thank but I'm not physically you. capable of you, but I would have physically the capable of squat four hundred. No, 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 no. You're not understanding. You determined that you was not capable, even though I said you are. So you ultimately knew your body better than me. Two is in the same situation. He knows his body better than anybody else, and he chose to continue. Despite what we think, he made that choice. It's on the player. You chose to get back into the game. Despite what we said, if you would say, Coach, I'm fucked up. I can't do it. He wouldn't have done it. He didn't say that. He said, all right, Coach, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm getting back in. And then we mad because he got back in and fucked himself over again for the second game in a row. That's his fault. Well, also because the doctor came out and told him he was good. So, doctor said he... But again, the player knows his body, bro. You in the military, you know. Bro. You go to sick hall and they're like, you're good. And we're like, no, we're not. I'm not good. It's no good. Okay, I hurt my, okay. I hurt my hip before, uh-huh. right? I hurt, I hurt yep. my hip before. Hurt my hip. Yep. Right? Uh-huh. I had, mm-hmm. I had a real bad hip point injury, right? During the game. Yep. Right? Mm-hmm. I told myself I could still go play. It sure the fuck could. It sure the fuck could not. It took a trainer pulling me, telling me, <laughs> laughing at me like, "Nah, Nick, you ain't going back in, bro. Look at you." But again, you I'm made like, the decision, huh? You made again. You made the decision. That was your decision to go back in. They told you no, right? But because they knew better, because they knew that hey, you probably ulti- it was gonna make it worse. That's them being medical professionals doing their job. Okay, I tell you what. Let's pivot that's, to that's basketball. That's the whole point they get paid Clay for. Thompson. That's Clay what they get Thompson paid tears, for. Clay Thompson tears his ACL. He's walking off into the tunnel. Who the fuck told him to come back out and shoot that free throw? Him? Nobody, right? Him Coach himself? Like, hey, hey, nah, free, nah free. E- exactly. Players that's make a those dog decisions. That's all that was. Throw. It's be the dog. A it don't, but, you're, but you're walking halfway out the tunnel. You're not supposed to be walking on that ACL regardless. You're supposed to be getting carried. Jeez. Right? Everybody, everybody, you see it today. I can stand that shit. Yes or no? It's it's, it's, it's 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 adrenaline. Nigga, I shot my free throw throw when I took my shit. That's not. I shot my shit. Y'all are dancing around it. When you see players Mm -hmm. today, ACL, are they not carded or carried off? Yes or no? I see people carried off. I see people carried off. I see both though. Walking. I see both. Walking. Name a player other than Clay Thompson you see getting walking off with a torn ACL. I seen uh, Name two high school players who tore the ACL and walked and walked off the mm-hmm. field. I seen oh, walk off. uh, what's I his name? Players. Linebacker from BYU. He tore his ACL. What's his name? I don't remember his name. I just never he played for BYU. It was like 2016. Mike, you actually remember a, a, you actually remember a player who died on my team. I just remember I watched a BYU linebacker. I cannot be D Nick's Amy at the same time. Y'all killing me right now. Bro, I'm not killing you. Bro, you actually name people who walked off with a torn ACL. I'll give you names. I'll give you people who I have seen personally it's, in my life. It's stupid. It's that that's why they're carted up because you're further damaging that part of your body. You're not supposed to put any kind of weight on it. That's stupid. So for him to walk out the tunnel and turn back around, shot a free throw, it's like, bro, you'd have to do that. You're adding on to the problem. You're not. Fuck that. Oh, you, he has a big heart. And so what, what if that was his last game? Who are you going to blame the organization? Or you, well, y'all let Tate to shoot it. He made that decision on his own. Don Mattel at the end of the day. Same thing with Tua. He made the decision. I stand on that. That's, that's much, it's as much as his fault as the organization. Because he chose to continue. Yeah, see, to we're not denying that. We, exactly. we had never we're not said, denying that, though. We had never said that because it was never said, his fault. It's on both we had of them. never exactly. said that. You put, say that. We said that. We never said that. We never said it wasn't his fault. Bullshit. When him say, oh please tell God. me when I oh have a fake that has said it. Oh please my tell me when God. I said it. I never said it. Easy. Easy. When I say you it. said, oh you said y'all blame the organization for letting him play like that. I said that was his personal decision. You was like, well, they should have stopped him. If he's telling the coach he's good, who's the coach going to trust? His own perception or what his player is saying? He got the final say at the end of the day. 
If you can, if if, <laughs> if you can see <laughs> that the motherfucker's not good, he's not good. What do you mean? Okay. <laughs> All right. Because I mean, I can use a different reference. We can use boxing. That's it's even better because they actually test to make sure that you're that you're able to continue. So if he passes all the tests, he's able to continue. What's the problem? But he technically did it. That's the thing about it. The test was wrong. He did. He did it. So that's why that's why the league got. If you uh, the, that's why the nah, got fired. this investigation, yeah, and the person because that, the, that the cleared him to go back faulty. in, he yeah he he didn't do the test right, and he actually failed some of the tests. That's not being reported. That's not being reported. Is that's, it that's it just came out today. Literally, it, oh it God, that's I was gonna say. I was gonna pull it up right now. I was gonna send it. <laughs> please send it, Faith. Oh please send it. Please send it. I, I, I saw it today. Please send it in the chat. Please send it in the chat. Hey, here hey, we go. Hey. Several mistakes in. Yep, right here. So. Oh damn! I gotta send it to the thing. So uh. Mm-hmm. For all those who are listening to pop, oh, uh, who watching or listening, where are you doing? All right, thank y'all again for tuning in for the for or well, these episode like, sixteen for the episode sixteen of the podcast, y'all. We appreciate y'all here at, at Talk with the Lens. I'll let y'all know. And also, if y'all want us to post this more on YouTube, like the full episodes, I'll make a separate channel for it. As you gotta let me know, and I will, I will do that. And we get kind of like kind of focus more content on there. You know, whatever y'all want, where it's like small episodes or like small segments that y'all want to uh, listen to or whatever, we can get that hooked up. But uh, back to the main, uh, what we're talking about. Did you see what we're talking about, Sam? Man, keep so, on. Ball. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Y'all, man, listen, y'all gotta act conscious. The player, the, the NFL Player Association, they're saying that there was mistakes made. Is any of them doctors? I can swear all of those, all of those are just players. That's why it's called the Players Association. No, all of those they are said players. the doctor made players mistakes. Players. They said the doctor made mistakes. Yes. I can, I can, I can, I can send that listen, one to listen, them. Bro, I'm, I can I'm, send I'm that one I'm reading the link right, bro, I'm reading the link right now. I'm, I'm literally, I'm literally reading this right now. The players' association is saying that the the doctor got it wrong, but these other players telling a uh, uh, damn MD he got it wrong. Here it, it says right here, literally that I okay, mean, if okay, he got so it wrong, yes, he got it wrong. That, and it says, and it also says Mackley White Health and, and the Safety Committee and the NFL Head, Neck and Spine Committee has already begun around the use of the the term gross motor. So it literally it was checked mm-hmm. out by their committee no, no, no. and the safety at, committees. At, Literally, it I'm says good. it. It says it right it here in their whole is, their whole speech. It says it right here that it was checked by the NFL's head and spine committee. Head talking, and spine committee. Who head and spine committee? What part of that is? That's part of the medical field. And what part of the medical field you gotta go to? You gotta go to fucking college. You gotta get a fucking degree. And they obviously the fucking doctor. Bro, you are, bro. Read the Literally. whole thing. They're talking about the modification of the policy. They're not talking about what just happened. They're talking about the modification. What they're trying to do. That does not fit to them obviously saying that they you are wrong. Obviously, they have checked no, bro, the no, shit no, was no, wrong. No. No, 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 it does not work that way. They did not come out and say that it got it wrong and then explain why it was wrong. What they said was they're looking to modify it. So they're using all these different sources to modify how it's being done. Not that they found something wrong, but they're looking to modify it because they're seeing a growing issue when it comes to testing for concussions. That's it, bro. Could add conscience to it. You cannot say that and then like, well, it's right there. No, 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 no. It's not. And it was say right that. there, What's though. Is the modification of the policy. So the players' association said that they found something wrong. What did you find that was wrong? What is the several mistakes? Also, it's not in the document. So also, we can't answer that question for you. Okay, that's so you cannot the, say that they. That's found- for the, You gotta ask the NFPA. Because obviously they and really also, put an they, investigation they, they, they on it if us. they didn't have fucking certified people to do it, bro. Come, come on, bro. Listen, you can change the rules because like, something has become more dangerous. Something has became something that is a growing problem, like hand checking. Hand checking made offense in the, in the, in the NBA 
a lot harder to score on. So what they do, they took out the rule book. Head on head collisions was, was causing more CTE. That's why they changed it. Change can happen for any reason. Yes, but to say that something was that. wrong, what was wrong? What was wrong? They didn't say something was wrong. The Players Association is arguing that something was wrong. But the actual indies, all these important people that make the decision, I'm not saying anything about it. So why the person get fired? It. It's the association. Sam, why the person get fired then? Why the person get fired? Who, what's his name? The doctor's name? I gotta, I gotta look at his what's name. name? I, gotta, I gotta find a... Uh, okay. Matter of fact, no, go, go they, ahead. They said that he been released. I gotta go to Bleacher Report. I think they had it on Bleacher when I saw it. I mean, but, there's plenty of people reporting that he has been fired. Like, Even yeah, he's no I longer with, working with the Dolphins. The players, associate, bro, the players Association fired him. He didn't get the Dolphins didn't do it, bro. It Wait, what you mean? Association. He worked for the Dolphins. He don't work for the NFL. How can, it, how it, can right someone here. who not it's in that organization it. fire somebody else? Please bro, tell me how that works. To, let, Please bro, tell me how that works. Thing, I, Mike, I'm trying to tell you. Listen. NFL Players Association fires independent doctor involved in treating uh, to a, what the fuck his name is in his injury. He got they fired him. I don't know how this shit works with, with these doctors, but apparently the Players Association fired the doctor responsible. Or it makes sense. In, <laughs> oh, it, exactly why I'm stating that you you. Okay, bro, go ahead. No, I'm great. It don't make sense. I ain't gonna lie, because if technically he works for it, unless. How it works is the NFLPA hire these doctors and they send them to the teams. My person ain't how it works. I thought the teams hire their own doctors, right? Because of how the Cowboys work theirs, right? Y'all doctors of hired course. by Jerry Jones, correct? Hey, he's best in the business, right? So, bro, he was even fired. From, he was even fired from the Dolphins. It was it was the consultant that the that, that the players association gives to every team. So apparently, every team gets their own doctor, and the players association gets their own examiner too. So the one that it was, was co-examinating from the player association, he got fired, but not the actual doctor for the team. Still there. The point of firing There's two. That's... <laughs> oh, it, exactly. Just, Why uh, did it... The more <laughs> the more the conversation goes on, the more stupid the shit sounds. But <laughs> I mean, but even like even still saying that the fact that you know it was an independent or whatever you want to call them, it's still the fact that the Dolphins medical staff still. We can't say that. Go. Well, okay, the medical we, we, staff. The medical staff has to has to clear the person. Also, there goes there's right. like there's a two so, there's a two check process. I I understand. Listen, I, I'm not arguing the fact. Okay, what I'm saying to y'all is right. This is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. We got past the player and who responsibility. We're talking about what happened. Any any uh, concussion protocols? Yes, there's there's a list of guidelines to go through, but every yes. guideline has a loophole. Am I saying there's male male practice? I can't say that because every player situation know. is different. At first, they said it was a back injury. That was the initial injury. It was a back injury. This How? Maybe sense. because it's a nervous system. No, hold, let me finish. Because it's a nervous system. Seizures can be can can be associated with having you know things with the nervous system. How do I know? Because my wife has pseudo seizures. Hers is stress related. When but, when she gets headaches and all this stuff, that's that's her nervous system being overloaded. Okay. Even if that so, stuff comes from first, brain trauma, though. At the end of the day, it, it, it does involve the spine, but at the end of the day, nerves some... Okay. What they were saying was that initial injury was a result of the nervous system reacting to the impact, not the head. This is what they're saying. I'm not a doctor. I'm just going off what they said. Okay. This, in this situation here, it was clearly a head injury because of his motor function, how he was functioning. Yes. Now, both look similar. Don't get me wrong. They look similar. But the ruling was a back injury, right? Mm. A is that back what they injury. put out? This one was an actual concussion. He mm. went through the protocols for a concussion and passed. Did he finish the game? Absolutely. Did, did he show any kind of signs of, you know, not being able to perform? Apparently not because he finished the game. Yes. In this situation, in game two, he didn't have that same ability. It was a concussion. It was clear to see it was a concussion. So we got to figure out what would happen in both diagnoses and, and also further explain what happened to the body. Because, again, we don't know how the human body reacts until it actually happens. Mm -hmm. Agreed? Agreed. Cool. Yeah. We're getting somewhere now. <laughs> this is no crazy. This is only a couple of times when a bunch, of, a bunch of people get together and talk about sports and they actually sit back and just listen to somebody. <laughs> typically, this don't happen. 
Typically. Yeah, like, I, I, like, believe it or not, bro, I actually dive deep to a situation. I don't talk about something I don't understand. I, I would dive into it and get the best understanding possible. So when I make my decision on something, it's with conviction. I'm not going off of what is. Fuck it, what if? I need to know for a fact this is what it is. I understand. So it, sound, it sounds like that the Dolphins, I mean, which they can because it's a HIPAA violation, mm -hmm. but they need to have some type of general under, of, of statement stating what happened. One was a back issue. Cool. There's physicians online that's, that's trying to, you know, support or debunk the situation. I saw a couple. So that's still debatable. But that sec but game two was definitely a concussion, 1,000%. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we don't know. It could have been a back injury. Again, they, they might add rules to where we're protecting the quarterback more because his pass is different from everybody else. But mm -hmm. those changes they're trying to do, it should be about the concussion protocol. They need to figure out what all happened. Because you're not changing the ruling from back injury to concussion. It, it, it doesn't look good for the league, but what's the point? It does not look good for the organization. We need to figure out what the fuck happened. They need to figure it out. Roger Goodell, do your goddamn job, get to the bottom of this shit. Because it's getting ugly. True. Okay. So we're, we're good now, at least for this topic. <laughs> for, for the time being, we're, we're straight. All right. Yeah. Um. So quick. Since I know there's college football going on, right? Right now, number one, Georgia losing to is unranked Missouri, 19-9. Oh, my. Fuck Georgia. Wow. I mean, I agree. Fuck Georgia. But. I ain't like nothing that came out of Georgia. I ain't gonna lie to you. Not, not too much. I don't really like too many things that came out of Georgia, respectfully. I mean. Nope. Not a lot of things. I think Gucci Man is the last person. No, 21 Savage. Nah, he, he, he's from overseas. From overseas. Gucci was the last person I like, Bro, nah, don't do Gucci. Don't do 21 Savage like that. the last one. Hey. 21. Hey, he, nah, he's from London, bro. Oh, oh God. He's from, exactly. he's from London, bro. All oh, hell to the queen. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> he got a visa. <laughs> he got a visa. Ain't work that way. Oh, shit. Okay, oh, shit. 21 was the last one. All right, fuck it. But I don't like none of that came out of Georgia, bro. I'm not mad at that. So, I'm not mad at that. They're losing good. Good job. I'm mean, Wait. Where's Soldier Boy from? Uh, oh, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, he lived in Chicago, then moved to Georgia, nah, and then real. yeah, and then Cali. some other some other goofy shit. Yeah, like I, I heard he was on the South Side for a little bit. And I was like, I don't, I don't know where he's from. I don't know. Soldier Boy's a storyteller. He does a good job at it. Just, Can't hate on that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It, it, very convincing. Be a Very convincing. I'm saying, this is, man. <laughs> but since we talk about rappers, California have What's put up? out uh, a statement about them changing the law about uh, rap looks being used against rappers in the court of law. It should be. It's not. No, so they're gonna take it away. You're not allowed to use That's it. That's stupid. All right. That's stupid. Oh my. I don't know why. I mean, because it's a liberal, it's a liberal state. That's why they they don't believe in judgment. They don't true. really believe in conviction either. Right. And like, like, go ahead, bro. I'm I'm, 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 I'm gonna finish because that I, I can dive into that situation a lot deeper. But go ahead, bro. Because I mean, me by personal opinion, right? I mean, at first it sounds cool, it sounds good, right? Oh, because I think as a fan, like, oh, I want to see my favorite rapper go to jail, right? But at the end I of the do. day, right? That's your dumbass fault for putting your shit in your lyrics, right? Mm-hmm. Right? Or that should be doing what most of these popular rappers are doing now. Just props. Just fake. Mm -hmm. Just a fantasy. They put this in the song, so the motherfuckers already know, hey, this shit's not real. I am... None of these guns are real. All Everything's props. Mm-hmm. So, if y'all try to use this against me, I already put it on there that this ain't real, so y'all can't use it against me. Not true. I mean, you still can if it you no know, correlates, mm -hmm. but you know, on hindsight, it ain't the first thing to look at. It's like, oh, it's fake, quote unquote. But yeah, what do you gotta say about it? Because I mean, it's California at the end of the day. Um, yeah, gas is high as hell. Housing is high as hell. Um, McDonald's high as hell. Exactly. I mean, chicken pie costs eight dollars over there. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> dog. 
Like, I don't. People that okay. <laughs> want to live there is 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 just crazy of itself to me, in my opinion. I wouldn't yeah. want to live there just because so, of how expensive it is to live. I'm gonna say this, and if this offends anybody, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna say, I mean, yeah, we don't bottom, give a fuck. <laughs> I mean, it's for the bottom of my heart. California is a cesspool of America. California is the worst place in the world to live. I don't give a fuck what anybody talking about. I'd rather go live in the backwoods in Mississippi and live with flies, raccoons, and rednecks than live in California. And this is why. California is literally draining the life, resources, and the opportunities away from their residents. You take away the ability to protect themselves with guns. You limit them on legally what can they possess. But you look at the criminals who who are somehow coming up with weapons that they're not supposed to have. You're not slowing down the drug trade that's coming through the borders. How is it that, that Mexico borders five states and California has to be the worst one? Texas majority, te- Texas alone covers more than half of the, of, of the Mexican border. Nah, we don't have real. this problem. We do not have this problem. Why is that guns, people, and drugs are sn- being smuggled in through California and not through Texas at a high rate? Granted, trafficking is high in Texas because it's so fucking big, but we're in the middle of everything, right? And then you look at the pricing. How is it that California, granted, it's big. Texas is bigger, and we don't even charge that much to live there at all. We don't charge much at mm-hmm. all. You, you can sustain a nice living making less than 100K a year. You get your yep. three-story house, on the Damn right. you get your three Damn house right. in Texas for under a million dollars. We don't, and then we, we want the biggest state, and we don't even charge you state taxes at, at all. all. We offer you so much. California offers you so little, but pe- people still want to go there and live there. You're an I don't idiot. Know why. California has killed more indep- independent, smart, famous, rich, wealth. They killed more people that had promise than any other place in America. Yep. California, this whole state need to be annexed. We need to sit here and, and gang up and go jump California. I swear to God, brother. <laughs> they, they, we gotta, they, gotta, they gotta figure this shit out. It's crazy. Everything. Go ahead. It's crazy to say about the, 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 the killing like more like big name people, or like especially like as far as music industry to kill a lot more people. Because like, arguably, right, the, the novice person go, oh, what about Chicago, right? Because that's the novice person gonna say, oh, what about Chicago? Chicago Chicago's though, worse. Chicago ahead, is worse, right? But how often do you hear about them killing a big name rapper, right? Or Come a big now. name artist, right? Like on, thing is, it's not even thing is, it's not even about like the part of like them actually dying. It's like people so much like so many people just rush out to California you know, hoping for you no know, success and like you no know, popularity and all that shit. Mm-hmm. And that shit does not happen like that. It just doesn't go like that. <laughs> Bro, I'm trying to tell you. And then like and the random, stamp- and then like all these coming up people or people think that they're hot and all that shit. They go out there and boom, they're broke as fuck. They 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 homeless. They're just homeless. The only times now. I could understand of somebody moving to California, even if you're an actor. But That's even, even worse. Even still, then exactly. Even still, then that just feeds into what I was just saying. I mean, you but, have all this acting. You ha- you you have all this hope for you no know, popularity. Oh, you know, I want to, I want to land this um deal. I wanna, I want to land this movie gig. This this and that. But you gotta remember, there's more than a million, two million, three million, about ten million people trying to do the same shit that you're trying to do I mean, in true. this one state. <laughs> I mean, shit is not gonna work. <laughs> it's only, not the only work. two places really that if you want to have a, a, a successful acting career and be like on big time movies is New York or in Cali, like because those are all the Thing big is, movies. Oh, even no. like the living oh, no, in no, New no, no. York Atlanta, is. Bro. Oh Atlanta, yeah, 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 yeah. Atlanta, Atlanta is coming Tyler up. Yeah, that is. Tyler Perry's, is Tyler Perry Thing Studios? If, is Thing is, if you if you if you look at those two other spots, their cost of living is not. Even close to how much, well, it may be New York, but New York's really even not that bad because it's still yeah. got the Bronx areas and stuff like that. Yeah. It, it, like, the cost for living and cost of anything in California is outrageous. It is Very. outrageous. It is like almost triple to what we got here in Texas. Come on now. Like, it is ridiculous for you to just be look around and be like, oh, I seen you the other day still wearing that same shirt type shit. 
Like mm-hmm. you, just don't, you, just, you just don't got it there. You just don't got it. You hoping for all the success and fame. Shit, you got to fucking live. You, you, you ain't going to be living. You're not going to live. And see, here's the part that be fucking me up, bro. And I got the same problem with Chicago, but I'm going to focus solely on California because that state's on my mind. I hate California, right? It's not that famous people get killed. I don't care about famous people dying. You know what I'm saying, California. That, that don't bother me. What bothers yeah. me is when people die, what is the response from, from, from the mayor, the, the governor, the police commissioner? Nothing. There is no Dang response. Violent. There is no, there's no change. Right. Or you or you have a famous actor that overdosed on illegal drugs in your state. What is what, what is the response to the citizens that have to live these conditions without you even knowing that they're going through this? If famous people can can can, can get murdered and, and strung out on drugs and robbed. Could you imagine the citizens that deal with this shit on a day to day basis, especially in schools? What is your response? There is none. There is, is no fucking response. I get Listen, when that shit was going on with Texas. We're like, oh, hell no. Nah. Hey, fuck all that. Y'all got us fucked up. This is, for, this is about to happen. X, Y, and Z. Execute. And I'd be damned if motherfuckers was not, was not, you know, moving to the beat of the music. But with California, and particularly these blue states, their response back to criminal activities is slow. They want to sit here and judge case by case. No, 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 no. A fucking criminal is a criminal regardless of what he did. You broke the law. You need to be punished. You need to be held accountable. You cannot sit here and allow criminals and people to do what the fuck they want to do. Granted, this is a, this is a free country, but we're still a, a fucking Republican. There's still things you have to abide by. California yeah. is too free. You can prostitute if you wanted to. You can sell, put, you know what I'm saying? You can, you, you can do some other shit if you want to, and it's not a problem. It's so, it's so common. Uh, You'd be surprised people ain't doing this shit. Oh, you, you don't smoke? Nah, you don't gangbang? Nah, you don't. What? Where you came from? You, you from here? Yeah. Crazy. So you must have been in the house the whole time. <laughs> that's sad to know that the, that the reality is every criminal activity that we don't value in our in our home states is normal in California. You know what's crazy? I have you said that about especially the prostitution thing, right? Cause it's normal to be like a a, a porn star, right? In California, it's normal. <laughs> yeah, right? Vegas, this girl, go, very normal. I go, I go say her name or nothing like that. I go, all right. Hey, we know a lot. All right. But she goes to UCLA, right? And she's and she's a well known, like she's well known. Like she can pay good money to do what she do. Right? And she go like she's just an average student at UCLA. Like she go to class and everything. And when she's not in class, she's she getting raw dog by some dude. What the fuck you talking about that we know? Oh no! No, this is not oh. like a classmate that we know faith in. Oh, I'm from the she's state. Like, like uh, she's a well-known person in that profession. Okay. Like I see what you're saying. Okay. No, not no, not, not who you were thinking of. I think you thought I'm thinking of somebody else that we know. Who is it? Yeah, Cali not right her, but <laughs> yeah, not her, but her. Yeah. But yeah, that. either way, we're not going to be going both of them. Either of them. <laughs> we're not going to be going either though, right? It's just crazy that like you could be at being a porn star and going to class and nobody really went up to you like oh my god I seen you on, on my Pornhub yesterday type shit right. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that, bruh. Swear like, to God, that's a norm around there. It is, bruh. I'm it glad is. you said that real quick. Out, listen, my newsflash, my my Twitter is not for, is not for the weak hearted. I got everything on the hook, right? <laughs> everything, bruh. It, it, whatever you thought, I got it. You know what I'm saying? It's safe that hoe. So I, I'm gonna let you know right now. Right now, if you open that motherfucker, hey, that's your fault. Not safe so for I work. I saw two things. I saw a Congress, you no, know, a, a a government, not necessarily a government official, but she's moving up into into you know local politics? government. Yeah, she's a politi- she's a porn star. I'm like, damn, I remember you, CC. I remember, I remember you. I remember you. I like, remember yeah, you. you you was getting knocked down by Justice Slam, bro. I remember you. Matter of fact, I got the DVD, but. It, yes. But she's from oh, California. Man, she's from California, deep, deep. born and raised, and she's in, into politics. Uh, Black Sky was talking about getting into politics. It's normal that y'all have these backgrounds and buried, just like respectfully. Uh, 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 what's yes. her name? Kamala Harris. She was in the three relationship with Montel Jordan and some other chick. It's like once you dig around these these backgrounds, people from California, you be like, damn, bro, you came up from that. Like that. That was your. 
that was your 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 life growing up, and it's sad mm. because yes, you've grown from it, but the fact that that's normal makes it even worse. It's like it's like you don't have a chance. Either you with it or you in the house. Being bullied and some more shit. You know what I'm saying? But hey, that's all I say about that shit. Man, that shit Fuck is California. crazy yeah, ass. That shit, shit is crazy. wild. That shit is I, wild. I, 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 swear, <laughs> I, I promise you, look into that shit, bro. I, I swear to God, she there's a lot of chicks that, that come from California, and it's sad to say because you know, in the South, we 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 value our women. Maybe not New Orleans sometimes, but in Louisiana. Oh my God. <laughs> like, you hey, just make sure that the women are protected. I'm not lying in my mic. Come on now. You know I'm not lying about this. Man, I know you're not lying. Okay. So in the South, we, we, we protect the women, but on, over on the West Coast, it's, it's, it's not uncommon or it's not, you know, weird to see women running guns, running drugs, yeah. being used as pack mules. Being used mm-hmm. as setup tools, being prostituted out, and then later on in life, they like, oh yeah, I'm a doctor now. I remember you, you used to sell so and so on 31st and that. Yeah, I remember, I remember that you, you we used to bang that, you up. You used to move that work. You used to move that right. work. And, and it's sad because it don't die. It continues to follow you. Just like right now in the South, you can do something like at 13 and people forget about this shit. But in California, it's remembered. And that's how they remember you by, and that's what they call you. If you want to be called Michael, they're like, nah, you, you, you little no, shooter. Yeah. That's, all, that's all we know. <laughs> oh, you little shooter. That's it. Or, or you bust down Betty. Your reputation <laughs> sticks. Nah, for real. Nah, nah, he ain't lying. Yeah, nah, he's he, 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 he back. <laughs> bust down Betty. <laughs> story. Right. But in the South, we can, we can forgive that. Like, you can literally be fucked off, be a little shooter, and grow up, and you, now you might. We knew we we knew you as that, but this is who you are in California. No, no, no. How you was introduced to the game is how you gonna stay in the game. If you was a prostitute then, you're a prostitute now. If you was a drug addict, then you're a drug addict now. If you was a gangster, then you're a gangster now. That does not change. In California, they continue to breed those type of people where you cannot grow from what you made mistakes from. They continue to carry it over your head, bro. Fuck California. <laughs> at the end of the day, at the end of the day, fuck California. Flat out. Fuck California. I mean, it just like like it's just weird. Like, I mean, me Atlanta and Georgia is one of the weird places as well. But that's a whole other okay. subject for another day. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I guess every state has their own problems, right? It just there that that issue. They got a lot of issues at the end of the day. They just got a lot of things that need. A workaround that's probably not gonna get worked around. And mm-hmm. day, right. So our next subject, we're gonna hit it on. All right. It's about me. So if y'all are watching this, y'all can tell I don't have a beer right now. <laughs> right? <laughs> we gotta have my hood on. Here we go. Come on with it. This <laughs> come on with it. Come on. Reason, yep. Reason why. <laughs> I have my hoodie on right now because I need a haircut. So I ain't finished around my head. Cause we just walked out the bed and you know just hop in the chair and I'll hop on this <laughs> wonderful stream for y'all. Okay, nah, fuck all that, Mike. Tell the truth. Nah, fuck that. Nah, fuck that, Mike. This this is my topic. Phase on. Let me ask you a question, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So so you understand the nappy process of having certain type of hair textures, right? Yeah. And I see that you got people here. Yeah, yeah. If you go to if you're going to the barbershop on a Sunday, I'm going to give you Sunday, we'll say 3 o'clock, because, you know, church, and then the yeah. after service, and then we'll go pray and shit, and whatever, go to gossip, all the other cute shit, right? Yeah. If you try to finish for Monday before you go to work, what's the first thing you're going to get addressed? Your facial hair or your hair? I'm getting my fade done. I'm sorry. My facial hair can look however I want to look, but I can always fix that myself. I'm okay. going to get that fade. Okay, see, see, I, I thought me and you was normal people, but clearly Mike, he, he, he he's a short crayon, much tall crayon. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I decided to shave his face first, and yet to get, I'm like, okay, Mike, you shave, but you ain't got a haircut. I'm like, you can't do one without the other, bro. You can get away with having a clean ass cut and nappy ass facial hair. I mean, at least you got a beard, you know what I'm saying? But you go fresh face, nappy hair. Come on, Mike. I need you to get this together. So, right. Mm-hmm. If you're, you Explain know, for those who are not in the military and don't know how the military works, right? 
There's things called shaving profiles, right? And and especially even in the army, you need a shaving profile to have a beard, right? So mm-hmm. my profile expired. So I had to be <clears> up on mine, right? And I was told mm-hmm. before I walk into the, the place, I didn't make sure I shaved so they could actually look at my face. So that's mm-hmm. what I did. I said, all right, you know, I'm going to shave it all off so I, I'm good to go to the Kohimino you know, BS. Talk about, so, oh, I can't see your face, right, so I can't give you your profile. Right? Mm-hmm. So I went there, shaved, right? Went there, told me, I, bro told me I didn't have to shave. He was like, you could have got the profile because you already had like six of them. I didn't even need to look at your face. You already had six. You're good. Or right, submit your permanent already. You're good to go. I was like, okay. cool. Right? Mm-hmm. So, next day of the work, everybody see me, oh my gosh, you should shave this beard. Oh my goodness. What the hell is he doing? All right? <laughs> I plan on getting a haircut, right? Even like I didn't plan on not getting a haircut because I need to get one. I know. I know I need to get a haircut, right? Okay. But I'll go do it tomorrow, not today. Oh, okay. Because I know, you know we why I'm doing it today or tomorrow because I know they're not going to be online and everybody going to be at work. Okay. So it, it to me, it's, it's felt like the best opportunity to you know, go in there, get it done, and get out. Bullshit. Mm-hmm. Bullshit, Mike. Now, people, <laughs> America, in the words of Bernie Mac, America, let me tell you what this motherfucker here ain't motherfucking saying correctly. Well, Mike is not going to tell you guys that you also have to keep a very neat and groom appearance in terms of your hair on your head. You must keep a maintain. A tapered appearance, which means you need to get a haircut at least every week. Mike, how long is the last time you got a haircut? <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Chop, chop. <laughs> Come on now. It's been about a month. About a month. So you have so you have yet to maintain the same standard that you're saying that you have to abide by. So that's why I'm like, you gotta you shave your hair first, your facial hair first before you got a haircut. Backwards as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and then, oh, then I pick my hair out. So I mean, like I don't take care of my hair. I pick my hair out so my hair don't look nappy. I pick a, my a, hair at out. Least, bro, at like, least if you had like an edge up, bro, I'd be like, all right, cool, bro. You you fresh as hell. Now, Mike, I'd be like, all right, bro. He'll figure it out next week. Nope. Next week. Nope. And then him, this would make matters worth y'all. America, his family seen him for the first time with no fresh hair. And the first thing I hear was, damn, your face got fat. <laughs> 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 they call them all kinds of fat face, round face. I'm like, damn, bro, they serving you up. And I'm thinking, like, man, I why do you think of that? But I'm like, you know what? <laughs> he said, why do I think I'm, of that? I'm letting them have that moment because it's, it's rare their family get on here for the first time they see you looking different and they clown you about it. They ain't even supporting you. No, hey, bro, I miss you, bro. None of that. Just, damn, cuz. <laughs> what what happened to you? And, <laughs> and they say, and and my, and I quote, "You better go there back before you come home." I know that much. I said, "Damn." Mm-hmm. So that means you ugly without facial hair, bro. I just wanted to let you know what that means. Uh, I mean, I knew, I knew. Trust me, I knew. We, I yeah, never, we, hey. yeah, we knew. Thomas. So, so my friends know. Uh, back at home, know. Actually, this is my this is my first time shaving my beard off. Uh, mm-hmm. My freshman year of college, <laughs> I had to shave my beard. Uh, cause I was just uh being a football player at the university. That's what we had to do. Um, right. So I grew a nickname, right? So <clears throat> this nickname I got was Thomas. Right. So typically, when I don't have a beard, my friends call me Thomas. Yep. <laughs> Thomas. Like the train. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> right, so. <laughs> I, first, first, first thing, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Right, so, and I also have another nickname, right? Yes. All right. Oh, Dang. man. So, first you know about this, this, this phase of my life, because I was. Oh, know, yes, yes. Thunderclap? Oh, no, 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 not that. Not that. Oh, okay, all right. That all right. Oh, That's my God. Name. That, that, That's that, that was what Corey Ugly Ass kept on calling me this shit. But. <laughs> Uh, the cheetah hair, Mike, aka Kevin. Oh yeah, che- Kevin. <laughs> so I was going through a very dark moment in, in my life at at the time, right? <laughs> no, okay. 
relationship wasn't going well. Got cheated on. Uh, wasn't doing was good in tough. football. Wasn't doing well in school. So turned to drugs. You know, <laughs> I was doing a lot of shit. A lot of, no fucks were given for a lot of a good point in my life at that moment in time, right? Okay. So, oh. Kevin was the name that Kevin was given was to me made. because I didn't give a fuck and I did whatever the hell I want, right? I was Kevin was made. Kevin was mm. doing wild shit every day. Kevin was unpredictable. A lot of people say they want Kevin back. AKA mm. D Nix. Kevin was wild. Kevin was wild. Kevin would go out fight people at the middle of the night. Kevin would go. <laughs> Kevin was horny. Kevin, Kevin was messing with on one shawty. <laughs> he had an opportunity to finesse his way to TCU. Oh, uh, yeah. Kevin was wild. Kevin, Kevin was on a different type of time. Oh, mm. Yeah, Kevin was but, on demon time, dog. And then, then his mic, which is, you know, regular, regular old mic. Hey, hold on. I, I'm sorry to cut you off, but breaking news just came out, and it goes back to one of our conversations. So the reason why the UNC, the unaffili- the, unaff- the unaffiliated neurotrauma consultant was fired mm-hmm. from the uh, NFL's Players Association because he made several mistakes during his evaluation, not the team doctor. Okay. No, well, yeah, no, no, I said that. Yeah, I, but still, the team, the team doctor still ultimately had to clear him to go back into the game. Uh, whoa, whoa, hold on. We listen. I, I just want to get that breaking news. I don't want to start another argument because we still got one to do. <laughs> That's we, not we an got, argument. That's factual. That's through the the protocol. Well, we we still got to argue with the Saints uh, because I got something juicy about the Saints that we can talk about. But I'm gonna let Mike go ahead and finish his life story about. Kevin, Tevin, Mike, and Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. All right, bro. So, so, phase, phase, Mike, you be quiet because, you know, I'm going to let you defend yourself. But I'm, I'm going to give, I'm going to give, I'm going to bring you to the table like, like Jada Smith be doing, bitch. Hey, fucking, anyway. <laughs> so, you think, I, I believe that Sean Payton was the saboteur to the, the, the Saints organization. This is why. I feel I feel like Drew Brees bailed him out on a lot of situations because I look at that team and I see a lot of seven and nine records with Drew Brees as the quarterback. He's having he's throwing for five thousand yards damn near every other season, but he's still having a losing record. So if Sean Payton is also the general manager, so he's involved with player personnel, right? He, he he's involved with scouting and moving players around and, and negotiating deals and all this other shit. He has literally the, the keys to the city. Oh, happy days, some old shit. Why isn't that you're not supplying your team more opportunities to win? Now, you won that one in 2009. I, I, I give that. But I felt like Drew Brees had more than enough chances to win again. But because of the lack of talent on that defense is why he didn't do it. But why yeah. also say that he yeah. sabotaged the organization? When he left, there was negative $92 million in salary cap. How in the fuck do you do that and they take off into the sunset? Like, hey, here's the bill, bitch. I'm out. Right? I'm done. That's one thing. You leave them in the negative and they got to sit here and will the deal and figure the shit out. But you go out and tell people, as of recently, that you almost had Patrick Mahomes. The story goes, man, I went to go see him, me and the organization. At his uh, pro day, he was great. I thought he was the greatest quarterback that came out of that draft. We had pick number 10. Buffalo had pick number 9. You know, we was thinking like, hey, we can possibly wait it out. See, can we get him? It's either him or Marshawn Lattimore. I'm saying, okay, first off, Marshawn Lattimore ain't even that great. But you was going to pick between him Don't just and goddamn Marshall Patrick Lattimore. Mahomes. Blows my mind. So what happens, Kansas City calls bu- Buffalo. They made a trade. Buffalo means not Buffalo. Kansas City calls Buffalo, make a trade. Kansas City take Patrick Mahomes. My thing is this. Why did you trade it to go get him? If you thought highly of this man coming out of college, and you know Drew Brees is declining, and you're going to need a, 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 a new franchise piece, and you said that this is your guy, why did you trade it to go get him? It's only one pick. They had nine. Y'all had ten. You can easily be like, hey, bro, he's a third and a fourth. But Patrick Mahomes is coming to New Orleans. 
Instead, you walked away with Marshawn Lattimore. Well, it was a good pick. He does well for the Saints. So, first of all, come on, bro. Don't just make, you walked away with. But you, I like but, Marshawn Lattimore. Wasn't a great pick because he has been a very viable part of our defense since he's been there. Oh my. Okay. A lot of okay. me say he's not. A lot of me say he's not. Please, he's please, not. please. He's what? not. Because guess what? Guess what? What? Without, without, without Cam Jordan, and and that phenomenal. You know, front four. We know what time out, time out, time out, time out. No, 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 no. We just said we don't have we do not have a great pass rushing defense. So that means our DBs gotta play better. Ah, yes, no, yes, 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 it does. Yes, it does. Hey, Hey, listen, the DBs gotta give them more time to get to the quarterback. Exactly. Listen, as I was saying, if I was really interrupted. Because <laughs> first of all, y'all have a great lo- uh, linebacking course, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about Sean Payton, bro. I fight like Sean Payton sabotage y'all's organization's opportunities to be a great franchise. I feel like y'all was robbed of more than just more than one championship. Y'all could have had a, quite a few. Like, every time y'all went to the NFC playoffs, I'm like, damn, the Saints could take it again. Y'all fail every time. And I'm like, Sean Payton, Drew Brees can't bail you out. Like... Like Peyton Maddie did, Tony Dungy. Like he can't just bail you out for, for your, your lack of coaching and management, fucking of the personnel. And I thought like that was going on. All right, that's all I gotta say. So, mm-hmm. right. The reason why it's Talk not Sean Payton Paul, right? Because oh, all right. Overall, because I we already had this conversation yesterday, right? You know, overall, you know, who the main person get blamed for lose wins and losses with head coach, right? I mm-hmm. can't disagree with you. I can't agree with you more, right? The head coach is blamed for it, right? But mm-hmm. at the end of the day, right, when it comes to some of these playoff runs that the Saints made throughout this year, right, some of them became mm-hmm. just a uh, quarterback play. You know, a couple of times, Drew Brees did not play well at some of those games. And, you know, Davis mm-hmm. had to bail them out. Um, mm-hmm. Some came to just final what plays and refs what not getting the call we wanted. Or just being blind as all get out, right? What, what defense? You said you said you, you said that defense sucked. Remember, Drew, I mean, Drew Brees never had a solid defense around him, right? 20, so how you speak him? I, I, him let, me speak, let, me speak, let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. How about answer your question? Go ahead. Go ahead. Twenty. Go ahead. Go ahead. Twenty sixteen and on, our defense has been solid, but after two thousand and ten to two thousand fifteen, that dish right there was horrible defense. Hmm. We can't because that's how we were, we were doing with the bounty gate situation. So <laughs> that, and then we were still looking for a, a defense corner. I think we went through like two, three defense corners at the time until we got <laughs> Dennis Allen. And you know when Dennis Allen got there, it literally took him eight season, eight season to fix the defense around. You said a season, one season, or eight? A a eight. A. Okay, you said a a. Eight oh, okay. Oh, damn, eight seasons? And he still got a job? That's crazy. I was say, I was say eight? Damn. Eight, eight, eight season. One season. Okay. Sorry for my pronunciation. Oh, shit. Uh, to fix that, defense around. So, <laughs> to put the blame simply on Sean Payne that he's the reason why. Now, first of all, even before Sean Payne got there, the Saints was in debt. The Saints been in debt for years, all right? I don't remember mm-hmm. when we weren't in debt. So I can't blame Sean Payton for reason why we're in debt because we've always been in the red, technically. Okay. I don't know how the heck the Saints organization do what they do, but it works somehow. But okay. That's that you know, that's, shit, man. That's, you know. The queen was saving their ass. Huh? Mm-hmm. The, queen, the queen was yep. saving the ass. Oh, who's in that is. little slight check? <laughs> in yep. the background, she said it was slight check it, in the background. Time. Hey, it makes sense, you feel me? Hey, she mm-hmm. might as well just get it out of debt. That's the case. You might as well pay the debt off. Nah. Come on, come on, Mike. Come on, with Because you know, you already know. I got some shit for you, bro. Go on, come on uh, with it. All right. Put your boxing gloves on. <laughs> Sean Payton. Overall, right? Uh, is a great head coach, right? 
Q, I said great head coach, right? I don't think I could ever see him as an offensive coordinator or a defensive coordinator. I can never see him in that type of position. I feel like he's always been kind of suited just for the head guy, GM, head coach, you no, know, somebody who covers personnel, somebody who's just good with people, right? That okay. what Sean Payton was known for. That why people play that play for. They say they love Sean Payton because he's just a great coach to play for. Mm-hmm. Right. At the end of the day, yeah, right? fuck. The reason why we look had, we quote unquote wasted Drew B's career, quote unquote, quote unquote, <laughs> because that's what you said. And you know he's yep, yeah, the first battle Hall of Famer, has a Super Bowl yeah, ring. Just one. And I mean, our, I think so. I think we were spoiled by Tom Brady, right? Because Tom Brady only, what? Because what? Patrick only got one ring. The Iron Man got two. So out of this past generation of quarterbacks, right? Only two quarterbacks had multiple rings. Which is? Eli Manning and Tom Brady. Uh, that, 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 that. You forgot about Ben Roethlisberger. He only got one. Wait a second. Wait a second one. He has two. He, has he two. beat the Cardinals. He's a Super Bowl he, he beat the Cardinals. And who else did he beat? I'll tell you. Because I looked at that that's up yesterday. He's a, he has two Super Bowl rings. He won twice. That's crazy. I don't, I ain't gonna, I don't remember what the one with the Cardinals. But, uh... Yeah. All right. Three out of 32 teams. Only three quarterbacks got multiple wins. Right, and Which one are? of them has seven. <laughs> name the quarterback. Nah, name the, name the quarterbacks now. Tom, fuck this up. he said it. Already. He said it already. He said it Tom. already. Tom. Yep. All right, Ben. Since you say he has an Eli, Eli. Right. Don't forget, don't forget Peyton. Peyton got it too. Now, come on now, tighten up, Mike. Peyton got. Yo, yeah, Peyton do got two. Peyton do got two. He got one of the Broncos. I forget. Yeah, he got one. So he got two. Right? So four QBs. We got four QBs right now. Oh, the Steelers beat the Seahawks, by the way. Huh? The Steelers beat the Seahawks, by the way. Oh, that would they beat? No, oh, no, 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 no. I lied. Yeah, 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 yeah. They beat the Seahawks. They beat the dog shot the Seahawks in the Super Bowl. Oh, that's the one we're looking at. That's the Super Bowl. <laughs> Yo, Pittsburgh. Yeah, because that, that, that was a like, that was a ugly suit. It was like forty three to like. Six no, it was it was it was ten twenty one. Ten twenty. What game we're looking at with the Seahawks when they got blown out? We're looking at a game when they got blown. Out. I can't remember. But besides the point, they, they, they blew out. They blew out the. They blew out Peyton Manning. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Literally, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. That was that was a bad game. That, it was that like the pitiful. Game we're talking about. Yeah, but anyway, right? So there's a small group of quarters, right? So it, it's still hard to get one ring, one. Mm-hmm. So it's still an accolade, accolade, accolade to get a ring in the NFL. Period. It's, it's hard as hell to get. Right. Mm-hmm. So, in my opinion, not a waste, right? Because he still technically got a ring. Right. There's still a lot of great quarterbacks who don't have a ring. Okay. All right. A lot of them went there prior to their rookie season and never went back. All right. Uh, who's the dude who played for the Dolphins? Dan Marino? Dan Marino. Yeah. Right? Had a phenomenal rookie season. Went all the way and never touched it again, right? I pray I hope Joe Burrow not one of those cases, but Joe Burrow could be another one of those cases. He is. Right? Go all the way and never touch it again. So, mm. actually, when... The whole shebang is an accolade all on its own. We should not mm-hmm. be penalizing <laughs> Sean Payton mm-hmm. when he has gave the city of New Orleans a ring. Matter of fact, our very first ring at that. Cause we never t- we never had one before that. Dan Marino's not even he's not even a super he's not even in the Hall of Fame. He's not. Nope. 
I think so. That's crazy. Yep, he, yep, he's not even the Hall of Fame. But go ahead. I mean, I was just, I was just example. You feel me? Okay, but, uh, my turn. My turn, because you, 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 you bullshitting, Mike. I told you <laughs> this. this yeah, nah, bro, you ain't letting this one go. Let, let me let me let me put this in into better content. Who is clearly in, in the last fifteen years? Who has led y'all's division? The Saints. Who has went to an NFC Championship game more in your division? The Saints. Fuck. Okay. Everything point towards one team. Y'all have literally been the end all be all for the NFC South, right or wrong? Yes. Okay. If I'm telling you that some situations y'all had a 79 record and still somehow won the division, I, I guess, whatever. I'm, I, I'm not going to that's the truth, but I saw a lot of 79. But hypothetically speaking, if you're the head coach and the GM, you deal with people and personnel all motherfucking day. Because yes. you don't really get down to, to, to coordinating shit because you got coordinators for that. So you deal with people and personnel. And you're seeing the reviews on how each season has gone under your leadership. You should already know there's a glaring issue with the defense. And you have not addressed that. Instead, you have supplied the offense with more opportunities to win you out of the game. Hence why I'm saying that Drew Brees can't continue to save Sean Payton when Sean Payton is literally the reason why Drew Brees... Well, I can't say that. Let me not say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to go back. Sean Payton is not helping Drew Brees win. He's putting him in Mission Impossible every season. And unfortunately, in 2009, it worked. But that was the only time it worked for y'all was 2009 because the Indianapolis Colts had the worst defense of the AFC. So technically, y'all really didn't have to do much because it was like, okay, who's the better offense? Y'all had more weapons at y'all disposal. Y'all had more opportunities. You see what I'm saying? But just like Peyton Manny, he couldn't continue to bail out the defense with being a good game manager or putting up more points. It came to an end. But the problem was with Peyton Manning's career is he had a neck injury. Drew Brees didn't have a major injury aside of his shoulder. Was it his he shoulder? He still could be playing. It was his shoulder. That's why he got traded from, from San Diego. San Diego, yep. You heard so, that say his shoulder uh, 2018. 2018, right? But that was damn near like, what, nine years later? 19 years later? Nine years later, something like that? That was down the line. But to know that he still, in my opinion, to this, to this day, can still play in today's game is mind-boggling that he underperformed so much because of the team around him. Not him, because he put up multiple 5,000-yard passing yard seasons. Yeah. Multiple. He broke Dan Marino's record, so it wasn't the quarterback. It was a team, but who's responsible for putting the team together? The head coach slash GM, which was Sean Payton. That's your, that's your department, dude. Why you up there talking and kissing babies? Your team's getting fucked up. <laughs> I mean, the, every so, season they haven't, bro. It, it's bad when the Saints is like Drew Brees gonna come through. He got it when they are down late into the fourth quarter. How you get down in the first place? Oh, because the defense didn't show up. So now Drew Brees gotta gotta, gotta sit here and be breezes and come bail y'all out. Sean Payton, that's on you, dude. You're setting your quarterback up for failure. And now what do you think? as well, then. You ain't lying. And on the DC lying. though, Wait, okay, no. but the DC, the DC can only do so much with the personnel. I'm saying that the that personnel coming in is on the responsibility of the GM and the head coach. If you supply me with trash, I can only make trash and recycle it back into something. Only so much. <laughs> only so much, bro. You only melt plastic down and reuse it. Only so much, right? You can only do it only for so much. Actually, Sean Payton, Sean Payton, you can melt down plastic a lot of times. That's all right. But but what I'm saying is it's on the head coach GM combination, which was Sean Payton. He told the organization what they what he wanted to do, and they did it. He was the man. He was him. He was handsome. He was handsome. He was him. And because of him, Drew Brees only has one championship, a short a short lived career, in my opinion. Short lived. And the he man not, played for Darren 20, 20 years. But <laughs> listen, his That's best a long year. Listen, That's a long hold career. On, but, but hear me out. Hear me out. Which makes him and Big Ben different. Big Ben was riddled by injuries. Dude was getting beat up. His offensive line failed him. He was took out running for, for five to ten yards. For his life. And, and for his life. 
<laughs> well, like, last two years? His last two years? Yeah, bro, did I have level two, three seasons? Right. Yeah. He, he Drew, but Drew Brees still in the latest stage of his career but throwing still pitch. had the better record than, than Tom Brady in one season as a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. And still was bailing him playoffs. out. And Deese was bailing him out. But but listen, bailing him out at the end of that at the end of his career, where, and now finally I have a balanced team, but I'm past my prime now. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not Breezes no more. I'm just regular old Drew. I'm suiting Ty Drew now. I'm just showing up in pass right now. I should be on the sideline coordinating some shit or something. <laughs> I but got it was too late. off. <laughs> right, it was too late. They tried to pay Manny Drew Breeze, bro. No, you can't rely on the defense to take you far like they did when he was in, in uh, Denver. It was too late. He was... It was way too late. The game had already changed that Drew Brees himself cannot comprehend. Yes, you had the right read, but that player that you were trying to get it to was being guarded by somebody that was way more athletic than what you used to know it. The game changed. Drew Brees was now obsolete. Oh, but yeah, my opinion, I mean, had y'all to carry him the way y'all supposed to, he would still be he would be more successful. Y'all failed him. And it's oh. Sean Payne's fault. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Come on, so- now. Proof. Show me the lie. Where is you why you're wrong, right? The first okay. season without Drew Brees, right? We still had a Here winning record. And okay. Sean Payton somehow won nine games with a rotating three starting quarterbacks. Rotating three starting quarterbacks. Actually, technically four, right? Okay. A rotating so? offensive line. Mm-hmm. A rotating defensive core. Okay. And somehow still won. Nine games, you still had a chance to go to the playoffs. Still had an opportunity okay. to go to the playoffs. All we didn't even go to the playoffs was because we need the uh, the Rams to beat the 49ers. And we saw how that went. And okay. it, almost bit, it almost bit the, the Rams in the ass twice because they almost lost to them twice. Okay. So, obviously, Sean know what he's doing. He did without Drew. <laughs> he able to, he able to win without Drew. Okay. Right. Okay. Go ahead. Without without have with all the injuries, he still was able to win. Okay. Right. At some point, we can't just blame the quarterback because so many playoff times <laughs> it was just I ain't gonna say luck, but defense weren't making plays. Right. The Minnesota medical miracle. If you watch that play, five of the defenders gave up on the play. Three other okay. defensive linemen gave up on the play. They let that play happen. Okay. They gave up. They called. It quit before the game ended. Before the clock hit zero. Okay. So that's a, that's a coach. That's a coach's fault because players quit before the game ended. That's a coach's fault. Because and I know for sure it's not coach's fault because I'm pretty sure if you play any sports, I never heard a coach say. Oh, you able to no? You know, clock's at zero. You you stop playing. I never heard a coach say that. <laughs> I never heard a coach say that. Please let me know. You heard a coach say that, Faith. Sam, no, I haven't heard a coach say that. I've seen coaches put in their backups who was not quality starters that still could have threw the game away. I've seen that. I mean, by pretty sure by the time they put backups in, the game's out of control, and there's no way they're comfortable enough. To be like you know what, they ain't no way they're coming back. Okay, so. So Even you're saying it's they ain't telling they ain't telling a player. Hey. So it's the player's fault. Oh my goodness! Yeah, and they right. You're on oh. the field. It's your job to make plays. Put those players on the roster. Who said, "Hey, go give me that guy. I like that guy. That guy will fit in our scheme." Who said that? Says that. Say, I, I help you out. Sean Patrick Payton. No, actually, <laughs> it's, it's a multitude of people, right? And not just one person who say, oh, yeah, let's get him, right? It's him. It's even worse. It's him, the DC. Uh, oh, I see. Yep. Position coaches. It, it's, a multitude, it's a multitude of people that make the decision. And not one person saying, yeah, let's get him, right? Because so, so. that's the whole thing with, with the Cowboy for long as with y'all draft picks that y'all feel like y'all think Jerry Joe had too much control of picking players. I, I, I love the fact that he got control because he played football, he understands the game. Go ahead, Jerry, do your thing. He, he, did, a he, job he, he did a horrible job at it. He did a horrible job at it. He's a horrible. He did a horrible job picking player. What you mean? What are you talking about? Who? He's horrible. He was horrible. Like who? Like who? When y'all pulled him back and stopped letting him no. control nope. the drafts. Nope. nope. 
Y'all nope. started drafting we, better. We draft better than y'all. We we no, need pass on Patrick not. Mahomes. What? We need pass on Patrick Mahomes for fucking Marshawn Lattimore. Bro, so give up a thousand yards. Faith, 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 faith. Make it make sense, right? How can you pass somebody on, up? How can you pass somebody up if it wasn't your pick yet? How you pass <laughs> them up? Explain that to me, Faith. Easy. How you pass somebody up if you're not in your turn to pick yet? This can't. It's, and like, wait, hold we're on. Playing, we're hooping, right? And go ahead. I'm like, we're gonna pick eight, right? I'm pick eight, and Faith got picked on right. pick three. I'm like, oh, uh, Faith's like, oh, damn, bro, you passed up on me. How I passed up on you? It's not even my turn to pick you yet. <laughs> it, it's, it's not it's my quite fault. Easy. I'm, I, I'm, I'm pick eight. That was how the order it, went. It, it, Listen, it's easy. I, I I can explain it to you. Faith, and please go back to the neutral side because I, I I don't want you taking side. I am on I the neutral to... side. He, he's on neutral. neutral. I, he answered my question Faith. honestly. That's all I he always, do. I, I always be now. Answering. Did, yeah, did you know? Did you know who originally had pick nine? Was it the Saints? No. Nope. It's the Bills. Faith had, had pick ten. The Buffalo Bills had pick nine. So how did Kansas City get okay. pick nine? They traded up. Oh, they traded they up for traded that man. Up. Now, hold on. Let me let me see how far they they had to trade up for it. Because I'm I'm curious. Give me a second. What do they what do they what do they trade up for it? They traded for Patrick Mahomes. They I'm I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you exactly give me a just just please, please bear with me because my, my phone is hot because no, it's fine. you know, it's fine. It's 100% you know fine. when I when when, when yeah, I get going, I get going. Because Mike be on some bullshit. Hey on bullshit, bro. <laughs> Can you you over here talking about we passed up? I'm passing my phone. Y'all pass. All right. Y'all so, pass. Tell me, okay, tell me, so tell me, what tell would me. okay? So well, what pa- would the Saints well, have to do? I have a question. Right. Oh my. Was the Bill looking at pa- Patrick Mahomes? Everybody was. All right. That it wasn't. That it wasn't. I mean, Josh Allen was on the board too. Was he not that year? Was Josh Allen one of the quarterbacks but, as well? Do you guys, when you go when when it's time to draft, do you not send scouts everywhere to view all the prospects? Yes or no, Mike? You, you know don't fear all the prospects. You fear a prospect that you oh feel like will go God. to your team. So you need a then, quarterback, right? Come on, we now. didn't need tech. We on. didn't. Need, we still had Drew. So no, it wasn't number so one on why, the list. So, it wasn't number one on the why, list. It wasn't number one so on the then, list. Why, why Tom Brady won no, Patrick Mahomes. No, bro. He might have won it, but why he wasn't. Want, I'm pretty sure he wasn't top priority. I'm pretty sure he wasn't why top he priority. Him? He said it himself. I told you the story. He, t- he, he didn't tell me he was top priority. He didn't tell me. He said, yes, he right. wanted him. If hey. I could want anybody, I could want a piece of candy. Right. He hey, said I'm about to give me a piece of candy while y'all arguing. Bro, bro, do you, do you want me to play? I, I can play you what happened, bro. He said he wanted, he's upset that he passed on Patrick Mahomes. He wanted Patrick Mahomes. What are you talking about? Okay. He said. You, not, you just <laughs> agree with what I said. He said he wanted. He didn't say he, he wasn't Come an on. absolute need. He wasn't a need. Bro. He wanted. So then, he wanted. He okay, wanted. So, he wasn't a need. So, Sometimes. So Faison. He, Faison. Let me, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you your party because, Mike, you, you're some bullshit. I'm about to act like D. How am I bullshit? So, Faison, you literally tripping, Faison, bro. You can't be bullshitting you, me right now, if, bro. I'm to tell you, bro. So right now, they drive a Honda. And they're like, you know what, bro? When I had that 20 grand in my pocket, I had the opportunity to get that motherfucking Benz or this Honda. And now I drive a Honda. What does that sound like to you? That's not the same thing. You gonna pay? No, no, no. A, can we talk about no, draft what, what picks? Sound, it's not the same. What does it sound, no. What does it sound like? Well, it sounds like you just chose the Honda. That was sound like. It sounded like what? Oh, he left. That's why. They tell you what they'll get snack. What they'll get a piece of candy. What they get a piece of candy. Let's see. Look, Here we go. Come but on. Like I said. Like I said. Nah. He said nope. he wanted him. No, nope. we need it. If he if he was available, yes, you take it. Wow, 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 bro. Oh yeah, this 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 got real bad. This got Please, really bad. Play it, play it. Nah, I'm send wait. The link. I'm, I'm send the link. Come back. I, I'll put it on stream. I'll live share it to everybody. Send me the link. <laughs> I bet. Nah, I'm gonna say it verbally. And this, I'm telling you, bro. The, the, this right here, this is gonna seal the deal. This is a trade by dick pick right now. Wait, what did he get back? He ain't gonna believe this. Trayvon shit. Diggs I don't pick. It, bro. Yeah, Trayvon Diggs sealed the game. Game over. Everybody go home. Concession stands closed. No more beer. See you in the parking lot. What, what about de- it? Bro, y- what about it? Bro, y- y'all, down, y'all down bad, bro. I can't it's believe what I'm about to, I'm about to. This is crazy. This is maddening. What? 
No, I'm gonna wait. What? Damn. Wow, how- Georgia came back. That's a crazy. Georgia came back. Fuck Georgia. Oh, Bro, I'm, I'm a, that sounds like when he's saying, when he's bringing up Patrick Mahomes' name, he's saying, you know, when he went to go see him, that's, that's our guy. You know, if he's on the board, we'll take him. If not, we'll go with Lattimore. No, he said, if he's on the board, they want him first and Lattimore second. That's Sean Payne's exact words. He, he, he said if, the same okay, thing. He said, if he's on the board. If. If. Okay. If he's but on the board. Who do you think? Does that mean he if he's first, not available, we go with our second best? All right, we go with the next option. option. So it happens so all the time. One, Some people want to trade up for picks. Who, who, it's okay. Who, who's option one? Who's option, option one? Patrick Mahomes. Thank you. That's what he wanted first. He wanted Patrick Mahomes. But he wasn't he available. Wanted... So how he passed him up? Okay. Please tell me. You're not explaining not... how he passed uh, him up. Uh, That's the issue. I the, the, the argument we talked about, bad. how he passed him up. Nope. You nope. didn't pass nope. him up because you know why? It wasn't our turn to pick. Yeah. If it was our turn oh, to yeah. pick I'm, and we I'm didn't pick him, it. then I'll agree with you. Yeah, we passed him up. It was our pick. We had an opportunity to pick him and we didn't pick him I'm, up. That's the thing. We picked. We picked. I'm going to prove it. Can I prove it? Can I prove it? I can prove it. Now, Faison, I'm going to ask you this, and then I'm going to get to my point. Mm-hmm. If you had 20 grand, 20 and you grand. told me if you, if you got 20 grand, and you tell me, Sam, I drive mm-hmm. a Honda now. Mm-hmm. But four years ago, I had 20 grand. I had an option between this brand new, brand new BMW and this Honda. And I tell mm-hmm. you right now, I drive this Honda now. What does that sound like? I passed up on that BMW. Okay, did you know what pick that the Chiefs had in that draft? They had the eleventh. They had or like they, the eighteenth. Yeah, the ninth. They, they required the tenth pick of the draft. But do you know what they was initially spotted at? What pick seven? They Wait, you said up pick for, seven. Twenty-seven. They traded up for pick oh. twenty-seven, all oh, the way 27. to nine, all the way to nine to get Patrick Mahomes. Damn. So you're, you're telling me that y'all cannot have forged a proper deal to go from and 10 nine? to 9. They went from 27 all the way to 9. And what did they give up for that? I'm about to say, yeah, I was here because I was asking earlier, like, what did, they, what did they give up to get that pick? Okay, let's find out. Oh, yeah, that was, that was, that was what I was wondering. Would you, bro, you... Okay, even let's say Kansas City gave them three, two additional picks, a first and a second, right? Let's let's gamble with that. Okay. Right. You're only trading one slot. You're going from from it, ten. That to, is true. You only but probably I ain't getting two picks for one slot. I ain't getting two picks for one slot. If anything, you're gonna give up your first round and then probably like a bum ass pick or something. because it's it, only exactly. one spot. It's only one, one spot. When the Cowboys traded down with the Eagles, they gave us a, a third. That was it. Oh, it, it, that a fourth, and we got Michael Parsons. So you telling me that y'all couldn't give up a fourth round pick for Patrick Mahomes to get L- Marshawn Lattimore? Come on, dog. Hey, you know, come on, the diamonds in the rough, bro. You never know what might happen. Taysom T- T- Hill bro, was was a fourth t- round pick. Bro, twenty seven to nine. They went from tw- pick twenty seven, so they was a playoff team, and traded all the way up to get pick nine. And took, and then here's the crazy part. Do you know who, they, who, who the Bills took at 27? To Javius White, a, a better corner than what y'all got. God damn, oh y'all my. can't wait for lose. Me. Y'all can't oh wait for lose. Wait, time out. How's he a better corner? How's he a better corner? When one rank higher than the other. To Javius White is a he's better not a better corner, corner than Marshawn out. Lattimore. He's not. Hey, according to Madden, he's a he's a he's a ex. He's a ex. Who gives a fuck what Madden gotta say? Nobody, <laughs> he's still gonna fuck up Man. Play football. <laughs> play football. According to Matt, I hate this guy. I hate this guy. I hate. I don't care no more. I don't care what you gotta say. What you brought back into this? This this conversation become invalid. Oh my god. Okay, but, but even then, even then, for a career, Davius <laughs> White has a better career than Marshawn Lattimore, and y'all took Marshawn Lattimore instead of Davius White, who was at pick twenty seven for the Bills to take. Who's one of the best corners in the AFC? In the AFC, and Marshawn like, Lattimore is one of the top tier corners in the AFC. So what are you talking about? Come on, no, he's not. Come, yes, he come is. On, what is wrong? Over oh, J- Jalen Ramsey and Jameer Alexander. That's there's already two. I already named two. Come on now, Jameer Alexander. Bro, hold on, Jameer Alexander is a 
You talking about corners or safety? Because you, t- you need two safeties. Jameer is a corner. Jameer is a corner. Jameer Alexander is, is a corner. Jameer Alexander is a, for the Packers. He's a corner. For the Packers, he's he plays corner. safety. He's a Bro, corner. watch this. Watch this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm about to prove you right now. I'm pretty sure they have him listed as a safety. Okay, Jameer. I'm 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 saying right now, Jameer. No, I got you. I got you. I got I got uh, I got the Google up right now. Come on now. Top top. <laughs> top, top. Hey, hold Come on, on now. Top top. Top top. What does it say now? Top, top. Now, what does it say now, Mike? Because I'm on looking now. at it right now. What does it That's say? That's crazy. <laughs> what does it say? Because the crazy. motherfucker's a corner. He's been a corner. He came in as a corner. What is hey. Oh, no. Hey. I got to view Haka Clinton Dix. That's why. Yes, Haha. Yeah, Haha is a safety. Yeah, yes. I got to but ha-ha. Ja- That's what happened. Ja- Jameer came in as a fucking uh, corner, I, and he's fault, a lockdown at that fault. too. I got, I, Jameer I, is I got cold. two players confused. Yeah, come to I got two players confused. I don't think about Haka Clinton Dix. Oh, again, let me go Either back way, to what I'm saying. That's top three. He top three. He still the top three conversation he, in, the uh, in NFC. Who's above them? Who's above on. him? Mike, why you like this, bro? Why you like this? Like, I'm, I'm really tired of my, my brain right now. Why you like this, bro? Why you like this? Why you like this, bro? Why you like this? You wasn't raised like this, Mike. I know better. Marshawn Lattimore, maybe, maybe he might be top 10, but he's not the better part of the top 10. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, no, you, listen, just, just, yes. just listen to this. Just listen to this, like, on, listen to this logic. On. John Payton. Marshawn on. Lattimore is crazy. Stop. Listen, just listen to this logic, just... bro. Sean Payton passed on not only Patrick Mahomes, he didn't trade up for him, but he passed on to Javius White. <laughs> As well in the same draft in the same first round pick, he really said. Marshall Lattimore well, is good. Marshall I'm, Lattimore. I'm, I'm all confused like, about. He is a great corner. He's not to has worked. Mike. He has shut down Mike Evans, Julio oh, Jones. No. You're in it. You're out. Come on, <laughs> bro. The fact and he's a bad corner. Good. That's crazy. He knocked out two premier number one receivers. Four games out of the year. But he's not a premier corner. That's crazy. The disrespect y'all put on Marshall Lattimore in this podcast is outlandish. Now I love Trey Davis right. I love Trey Davis right. You know, as a because you come come from the great old, you know, LSU Tigers. I had nothing but love for Trey Davis. Right? Bro. Better, bro. What are you talking about? But, Bruh, okay, I'd say. At the end of the day, right? Marshall Lattimore is a great DB. He's a great corner. We're not going to take that away from him. Come on, bro. Mike, why you like this, bro? <laughs> right? I, I have like been this. pretty I, on point about bro, my I, DB's conversation. I've been on point bro. about my DB conversation. I said oh, the same thing about Trevon Diggs. I, I said he need to be a better man on man. Make. And being able to uh, hold people, it's not making big runs. And what have you done this Mike. season? And done that exact thing. So, Mike, Mike. Let, let, let me, it's let me like ask you I this. know let what I'm ask, talking about. It's crazy. Let me ask. Let me ask this question to the to the to the people. Those watching and listening to this foolishness that's coming out of the, the, the host's mouth. <laughs> if Marshawn <laughs> Lattimore be a free agent, who's can sign to a bigger contract with a better uh, with a better Team that's going to be in the Super Bowl. If Marshawn is a free agent, was a free agent at the same time, who has a better chance of getting signed to a playoff team? Both equally. I mean, that's been on agents. Damn. See, guys, don't fuck you, Def. That's 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 a. All right. Talk about no, okay, that ain't real. Right. Thing. That's I an mean, Asian, that's an Asian thing. That's an Asian thing too. Also, it is. <laughs> like you're a bad at your Asian cold as hell. Yeah. Oh, take <laughs> out of these. I'm saying, what? Who is more likely to be scouted out to go to a playoff team? Both. Like I, don't, I don't, Both team will pick either or. Either or. No. 
only person that like Marshawn Lattimore is the Saints fans. Only y'all like them. Only y'all. That's why y'all. Like them. <laughs> no, <laughs> hey, no, you just a hater. You just a hater. I'm speaking facts. No, you're not. You, Listen, just, you sound like a hater. You, why you hate on Marshawn? I show you. I show you stats of this season. I show you stats of last season. He has been a good quarter, bro. I can name two. No, bro. I two other. That are new to the league, they get more love than your guy who's been in longer. AJ Terrell, Trayvon Diggs. AJ Terrell is mid, though. Look. AJ Terrell's mid. He's mid. He's, he's mid. Better. And he's not better. Guess what? AJ Terrell's not better. Guess we have watched AJ Terrell play. He's not better. He's even better than JC Jackson. Are you smoking crack? Are you smoking crack? Are you smoking crack? Are you smoking crack? Oh, wow. Bro, listen, you say AJ Terrell better than. J- Jackson? Jackson? He ain't better than JC Jackson. Jason. Hey, you know that. Wait, you said, no, wait, you talking about my, co- my corner? Oh, wait, what happened, what happened to Sam? I don't know. Wow, JC, JC Jackson. JC Jackson. Bro. That boy is cold. He is cold. But he said my DB better is not better than him, or mm-hmm. saying AJ Terrell is, not, is better than him. I hope he's not saying AJ Terrell. I say, he's AJ, AJ Terrell is like he's barely making the top ten, if that. He's top twenty, for sure. Top fifteen, for sure. But he's not top ten. I think I think we lost. He's not top. He's not top ten. This phone probably over overheated. Probably that we get. <laughs> Target. My thing is right. <laughs> I was saying, like, I would say, bro, if you're a DB, bro, it's hard. Like, certain DB don't get love. Certain DB don't get love. And it's a fact. Yep. Right? Mm-hmm. The, your better DB don't get love. You know why? They're not, they don't shine. Your better DB don't shine. You know why? They don't show up on a stat sheet. You know, I know how to talk about Saucy Garner this entire season. Hey, her shit about Saucy Garner this entire season. Nope. You know why? Been, nobody talks. He's been guarding up. No, God, he's nobody, been guarding go, up. Nobody talk, talks the shit his way. They man shut down Jamar Chase and a mm-hmm. uh, fucking uh, what's his name on the other side, uh, T Higgins. He, nope. But nobody's talking about him. You know why? He don't give up shit. He's locking shit down. He yeah, hasn't yet to give up a touchdown. He have yet to give up a touchdown. I, I was skeptical of Sasha Gardner just because he came from Cincinnati. I'm like, I don't know. You know, playing oh, yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. You no. Know, Playing at the division, you playing it in college. I don't know how that would translate playing in the NFL, but he's dogging. He's dogging. I'm not mad. I'm. He started to become one of my favorite DBs. Doing I good. love. I love a pure lock, and he's quiet. And he's quiet. He. You don't hear shit about him. He's quiet. He go do his job, and he goes home for the day. The hell, I like my DBs. All right. Marshall Lamar shows up. Like, you know, Trey Davis White, he's a lockdown. He's just been injured. You know, the biggest problem with Trey Davis White, he's been hurt the past two seasons. He's been hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Marcus Peters, he give up big plays. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, Marlon Humphrey, he gives up big plays. Jalen Ramsey had not. Marcus Peters hasn't been the same. Yeah. Uh, Jalen Ramsey has. I've been playing up to par this year to the name in total, right? Even last year, you know, there's football, he did not play a good game. He did not. Right. You know, Darius Slay having a good season this year. He's but like, he is. He is having a good season. But last year, you know, it was iffy. Denzel Ward, a great DB. Haven't heard much about him. Exactly, you don't hear much about the greater DB Xavier Howard. You don't hear much about Xavier Howard. Mm-hmm. Your greater DB well, I know, don't. Well, I know he's doing his thing though. Exactly. You don't hear about the greater DB. You don't hear about him. You don't. You don't hear about him. I'm sorry. You don't. Cause you know why? They can do the job, but they go about their day. They talk to shit probably in the game, but they do their business and they go on about the day. I think the reason why Jay Ramsey got the hype running there because he was a big when he was coming into the NFL, he was a bigger guy, you know, coming in. 
So it was like it was like almost like you was like almost like a DJ McCat type of thing, right? A dude really yeah. big for his position, but he can move. So it, it's the same effect, you feel me? And once people figure you out, bro, they figure you out. You know? Yeah, right. And I ain't somebody telling about Trevon Diggs. I I said it before she started. I said the big issue about Trevon Diggs is that he gives up too many yards after the catch. Don't do. I said I can handle what you I do catching the football, but as long as you bring in that right wing catches it. That's the biggest thing. Your jack is such an issue. Can now not only are this man marked down the field now it's a confident boost. Not only he's just catching it. He catch it and he's running with it. Now he's shaking people out his boot out their boots. Right? The receiver in space is, is a scary situation for DBs, linebackers, and everything in between. We don't we don't want that. So what the one thing that that Trevor Dix has fixed this season was yak. He had give hardly any yak yards. At all. Now, the picks, you know, everybody loves turnovers, but I tell you, like, turnover is a, is a double-edged sword thing. And honestly speaking, I'd rather not give up, you know, like, getting up. We see when Marlon Humphreys and Marcus Peters. When you not get turnovers, you hurt our defense. Like, we love the fact you get interceptions, bro, but at some point, right, don't let go target you when they know their player is open. So when they're on the target, when they know the player is open, and they can make the throw, that's an issue. The, the great thing about Charles and Dix right now, that they still try to target him, and he's on players. Now when they slip up, you get the pick. The whole point about BDB, you you get picks when they fuck up. The whole the point about BDB, we already get picked because the quarterback fucked up. But um, I'm gonna text Sam real quick. And um, see the man all right. <laughs> see, see if he's making it. Uh, having this heated discussion. Uh, so. Uh, question for you, Faith, and um, do you think uh social media outlets should hire former athletes over journalists? Um, ask that question because I was I was just reading something. Oh, should media outlets hire former athletes over journalists? So then like ESPN, Bleacher Report, uh to a certain extent. When it comes to certain things. Yeah, because I mean, if you're a bum while you why you played, why the fuck would I want your opinion on things or how or how you view <laughs> What your position does, because what the fuck you did? What the I fuck mean, you do? <laughs> you say he didn't do this and that, but boy, you didn't get shit done. And shit was done. <laughs> a goddamn thing was done. You feel me? So, mm, to a certain extent, yeah. I see it. And I knew, you know. But as in, like, I didn't just like yo like Steve Smith. Mm. Yeah, hell yeah. So he knew. Um, I forgot. I for, I fucking saw it. Saw it recently. He knew somebody was nice before he. Oh, Cooper Cup. Mm. He knew Cooper Cup was nice coming out of the draft, and everybody thought he was crazy. Look what Cooper Cup is now. Top receivers in the field. He knew he was gonna be top. From the gecko. And people thought he was crazy about it. Questioning a and who the other she did say they will be top receiver in the field? I think he's a bum now. Um I forgot. But he wasn't a, but he wasn't that, that as bad as bad, bad either, but he wasn't as but he's not obviously a, a, as good as Cooper. But he does. No, he's not Cooper Cup at the end of the day. Exactly, he's not Cooper though. And um Oh man, it is I'm 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 torn between it because I feel like you know as journalists is what you get paid to do you know I feel like even as a player 
you know, if you're studying it, kind of obviously as an NFL player, you have to with the college, right? And you went to college for journalists. I'm all for it, right? So you have somewhat of a history background in it. I just feel yeah. like not just any player should be able to go do it, right? You gotta have a That's background true. in it. You gotta be able to you know get the job done at the end of the day, right? Yeah. And I feel like that's the biggest uh, take for me, right? You get, you got to be able to get the job done at the end of the day. And if I feel like, personally, you're not the guy for the job. You're not the guy for the job. Uh, I don't care if you play, you're a four-time pro, all pro. If you're not meant for the job, you're not meant for the job, bro. Like, I love, I love what you did during the game. But you, you're not allowed. You can't just speak because you might not know how being a journalist, you know, how certain things are supposed to work, how certain things are supposed to be worded, you know, that type of situation. Yeah, for sure. Ugh. But um, I think we're hitting our two hour mark, so we're gonna hit our last one and um close out. Oh, my boy, uh, I don't know, saying we back in time to close this shit out, but uh, <laughs> hopefully, if he is, you know, we'll see. Um, I'm not, I was, I was flew by. I didn't think it will, t- I think it will be a two hour pod. Okay, would you rather taste everything you touch or have a random visions of other people's traumas? It's a hard one. It's hard. Cause I ain't gonna lie, you touch a lot of shit. Sure do. Imagine yeah. touching the toilet seat. You gonna taste the toilet. That's nasty. But seeing other people's trauma. I don't wanna see that. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna become a trauma victim. Look at other people's exactly. trauma. Exactly. Uh well, I fuck around and die. Suicide, but it that you might shit come, even happen. or you might come numb to it because you get used to it. At some point, yeah, you're right. You probably would get numb to it. You're like, oh, this ain't that bad. <laughs> you just keep it pushing. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you just keep it pushing. Uh, it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't as bad as yesterday. Yeah, I mean, dude, yesterday, bro, he, he fucking watched somebody get his <laughs> arm cut off. This person, his, her dog just died. It's, I, 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 I probably go with um, seeing people's trauma. I ain't trying to taste everything. Yeah, I would say like, you know, like... Everything's not supposed to be tasted. Exactly. Like, imagine... You got to taste your dog. That's I, that's that's disgusting. I don't want to taste it. Talking about my dog. <laughs> like... I don't, I don't, I what the fuck you doing, bro? I ain't feeling it. You feel me? I ain't feeling it. This nigga been gone for two hours. You been sleep? I guess so. Yeah, he been sleep. I think I had sleep face. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. I, I might be choosing trauma just because I ain't. Yeah, I'm choosing trauma. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't trying. Ain't. See, I, see, I just touched Anakin. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to taste him. <laughs> Why you try to test somebody something that unexpectedly tastes good? It was expected to taste good. I'm sorry, that, no, that'd be disturbing. Like you touch a drawer and like that shit tastes good. Like I'm skeptical now, and I'm already a fat <laughs> ass. You feel me? <laughs> hey, he gonna eat the drawer. <laughs> oh, fat ass nigga. Hey, get off! Me. Hey, get 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 like, off my get off my road. That, that's not gonna help my situation of me being a fat ass. All right. <laughs> Go lick the drawer every morning. <laughs> I'm gonna be touching the drawer every morning. That specific drawer every morning. Yeah. Just to oh, keep yeah, me right. Like <laughs> just to keep oh, me right. God, I just like to get a taste of drawer in the morning. <laughs> oh, my get me up. God damn. Imagine that. You always you smoke cigarettes. You gotta taste the cigarette now. That's disgusting. You gotta taste plastic. Every time I touch the bottle, I have to taste this bottle. Mm hmm. Imagine you can't even go swimming, bro. You gotta taste the chlorine. I'm just <laughs> Yeah, nah, you never go swimming ever again in your life. Yeah, 
I'm good. Another and another somebody peeing pee in the water. Damn. Oh my god, you don't know before you don't know before anybody else. No, nah, for real. How the fuck the PS5 get hot? The PS5 not even hot. Where is this? Okay, it's hot back here. But damn, I got it well ventilated. It's on the desk. How is this shit getting hot? Mm, they need another fan back there. It's stupid. Nah, this is fucking PS5 shit. People with PS5s understand. Uh, Y'all understand. <laughs> I feel like he just shit on me. Bro, we just be just playing the shit. Like, uh, I ain't gonna lie. I have been playing it for like a few hours now. But still, <laughs> like, that shit will, that shit will get hot so fast. Like, we didn't, we didn't have that problem with PS4s. Shit, we was on our PS4 all fucking day. And that shit did not tell us that it was getting hot or nothing. Yeah, but also your PS, your PS4 used to sound like a jet engine at some point of the day. Depending on the game you play. I mean, I really had that sacrifice of a jet engine and the shit just cutting off on me. Oh, you shit just cut off on you? <laughs> the certain, you so certain sense to what some PS5s do. Oh. They'll, like, like, if they overheat, they just instantly just cut off. But no, nah, like, a screen a screen comes up just saying your PS5's hot, take a break, top of blah, 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 some shit like that. Fuck, oh, literally. Break, it's grind season. <laughs> and, like, and then, like, literally, like, you push X and you're able to play the game again. You're stupid. <laughs> it's just a warning that comes up. Pretty much. They said, hey, we're a hey, we're hot. But we'll keep on playing though. Bro. It just popped up again. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it's about time to take a break, I guess. I'm dead. It's just stupid. Damn, my memory days have come to a close, Faith. Mm. Go back to regular unit life after Wednesday. No Crazy. more chilling. Back to slaving. Actually, not really slaving. I don't know. I might not be tripping. I'm actually actually be working for once. And hopefully, I'm actually working. Hopefully, I'm not just sitting around to like 18. That's boring. But, uh... Thank everybody for tuning in today's pod. KS Faiso. I'm yes, happy sir. to have you back. Yes, sir. I don't know if I'm being back for real, for real. I don't know that. But either. it's a great start. You know, the fact that you, you know. I made it today. The fact that I made it today. Yeah, it, it, it is a, a great thing of its own. Um, if y'all are interested on Discord, join Discord server. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff on YouTube. Um, more YouTube comment coming. I'm sorry, I haven't been streaming a lot lately. Uh, just haven't been feeling it, honestly. But uh, yeah, we'll catch y'all next time. And yes, sir. we catch y'all next time when we talking with the lens.